Hello, everyone. Hope you got those noir darting emotes ready to use. Because <laughs> I get the feeling this game is going to inspire a lot of you. To, like, you know, well, talk about that, that dame who came into your life one day while you were sitting in your moody, smoke filled office, battling things with tentacles. Supposedly. I, I don't know if this game still has a Lovecraftian angle or not, but we'll find out. <laughs> Can I, you know. Sorry for the late start, by the way. This game did not want to start up because it had to like download a redistributable. <laughs> I was like, I thought we were past that point in our technological curve. Like getting past the needing a re a v like redistributable when you like download a game, that feels like 2008 Steam. Did I review this game? I have. This is my first time playing an Alone in the Dark game, <clears throat> so no, I have not. Uh, but also, uh, Super Tramp, I see what you're doing. Gifted me five memberships. I thank you for it. And hopefully whoever gets one of those memberships gives you a thank you as well. This isn't related to anything, but I wanted to say this. I feel bad that you spent money on Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Although I suppose making a video about it is doing God's work. I've, trust me, there's been games I spent money on that I feel way worse over than that one. That one at least didn't take very long to get through. That's a plus. Not taking very long... You know what? I can stand a bad game if it only takes me like 10 or 14 hours to get through. Talk to me about buying Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Uh, but thank you for, uh, hopefully you like the video though. Always keep this in mind for me. Video games are a tax write-off. So you never have to feel bad about me playing a bad video game that I paid money for. <clears throat> but how is everyone? Not spoiling anything. Yes, it does have a Lovecraftian angle. Hmm, we'll, we shall see then. We shall see. Uh, but uh, hopefully everyone is now fully socially re-energized re after like the four days away I've been from streaming. Oh, that was a... I needed that badly. <laughs> Need that so badly. In hindsight, I've got a lot of work done on the FF7 script. I'm already past like the Junon section, so... Not quite midway of the game, but getting there. Hope everyone had a great day. I hope everyone had a great day too. I wish the best. The best. <clears throat> By the way, how's my audio sounding? You think Resident Evil Code Zero will get a remake? I highly doubt that one. And both Code Zero and uh, Veron Code Veronica X. I don't think either one will get one. Audio is great. Audio is good. Thank you. Thank you. I, usually when one thing is like a problem in a tech, on a stream or a tech issue, another one always pops up. Would KOTOR 1 and 2 be considered classic sim videos? Uh, if it, before 2004, anything before 2004 would be considered for classic sim. Yes. I believe KOTOR 1. I don't know if KOTOR 2. I think probably both of them actually released before 2004. Have you ever played Control? I not only did I play Control, I made a sin video on it. This man needs to look through my library of videos, Chet. He's going to go on a journey now. He's like, wait, 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 I missed that one. But yeah, I did that one like two years ago, I think. Resident Evil 5 Remake would be interesting considering how much co-op isn't a thing anymore. Honestly, if they do, if they are making their RE5 remake, I do think they need to adopt the Resident Evil 2 approach to two main characters and just have two separate campaigns instead of the cooperative nonsense. <clears throat> this is some sexy music. You know what? Fits my voice pretty well, doesn't it? Chat, I always need smooth jazz playing wherever I go. Just like, I need, you know what? I need to reach a level of, like, fame where I can just hire a band, like someone with a, like a saxophone and a trumpet to follow me around and play a tune like this everywhere I go, no matter how much it annoys other people. You can tell it works. Honestly, yeah, pretty much does match my voice. Chat, I have the jawline, the hairline, and the sounding, and the voice to actually be a noir detective. I could pull it off. I don't have really good stubble. That's like the only feature I'm missing. I don't really grow a beard or like you'll five o'clock stubble very well. And I'm not an alcoholic, or even drink. But the rest of it, I could pull off. Uh, I would play Vaporwave music when I would boot up Sonic Mania. Uh, doesn't Sonic Mania have a pretty good soundtrack though? But hey, you play what you want to play. 
Chris is so rooted out in that game that he can do anything except open a reinforced door by himself. Look, he was he, he was being a team player, all right? But yeah, if, if that man can punch a boulder off a cliff, he can definitely open a reinforced, open any of those doors by his own self. Apparently, Sheva has a meaner kick than Chris. What, does it do slightly more damage? Did you get the classic skins DLC for this game? I don't know. I didn't buy anything. I just bought the base game. You even thought about doing VR exclusive games? Uh, most VR games outside of like Half-Life Alex don't really have much plot content to work with. They're very light on it. Most VR games, even though I like VR, I have two VR headsets. I, even I can admit most VR games are still only at this like toy level almost of like of development. Some of them are like just like a very fun interactive toy without much going on behind the scenes. That, there are some out there that are really good that I can definitely recommend. Uh, but I would like to do VR stuff once there's enough VR stuff to make it worthwhile. And enough people who care about VR. It might be something I try out on the Patreon, at least like a VR Sins video, just to see how people react to it. Or how well I could do it. But even then, there wouldn't be very many of them. Uh, I still like the Quarry Sins video. Really all those Choices Matter games since... Yo, funny thing you should mention the Quarry. The very first game I ever live stream was Until Dawn. And it's one of the reasons Until Dawn is probably one of my favorite videos. Just because I think it's like the surefire video you can go watch and see like a change in my overall style. Uh, because I started streaming. Or at least that's the way I feel about it. Maybe I'm wrong. But I've always felt that way. <laughs> FNAF games are good. In VR, well, they they literally just like here's the jump scare simulator. <laughs> Chat, do, do, does anyone actually like Five Nights at Freddy's games? I, I always feel like it's like a Five Nights at Freddy's popularity has been like a gag that people just pretend ironically like it. <laughs> like, man, I like playing this game for like the million time with a robot jumps in my face. Are you gonna stream the next Dark Pictures game? Uh, maybe. I mean, I've streamed all of them. If I play it, I'll stream it. By far, my favorite sim videos are all the David Cage games. Those do make some good ones, don't they? That being, there is one David Cage game I have yet to sin. Omicron the Nomad Soul. I have plans for it. <laughs> if I can ever get it working. <laughs> In the quarry video, how long would it take you to draw that penis? It does not take long to draw any penis. It is a very easy appendage to draw. It's not like drawing a hand or something, which is notoriously difficult. There, is, there are a few things more easy to draw in life than a penis. It's the reason why even like cavemans would draw penises. Like cavemen, one of the first drawings we have is like, here's my dick. It's a historical, you know, piece of history. I can, I can bust out a penis in like seconds, all right? And I intentionally use words to make that sound as dirty as possible. Uh, will you ever play in Sin Fatal Frame? I have played through Fatal Frame 2 and I did record it. So I might end up doing a video on that at some point. Uh, that, that's the only Fatal Frame game I've ever played, though. Speaking of other horror games I'd like to play, at some point I want to play that PS2 horror game Siren. Just because it looks interesting to me. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll play that, though. Penis speed run any percent. It's, like I said, boom, 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 done. I could draw a penis blind, all right? You should play Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Is that the most recent one that came out on the Wii U? And then got re-released everywhere else? Why don't people with come with glasses just press L2 to zoom in? Are they stupid? Look, I wear glasses. If I could find the L2 button to zoom in, I would let you know. They didn't give it in my prescription. <clears throat> don't get DD2. Dragon's Dogma 2? I haven't. I'm waiting for that game to be patched before I even consider it. Right now it's apparently got a lot of issues. And also, I don't want to play another big RPG right now when I just finished FF7 and I still have Like a Dragon to finish. I, I don't even- Chad, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know if I'm gonna finish Like a Dragon. <laughs> I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna finish that game or not. Any chance Corpse Party will get played and sent? I don't know much about that game. Is that... Some reason my mind is telling me Corpse Party is like an... 
anime high school game where it, but with horror elements. I don't know if that's right though. That's just what pops in my head when I hear the word Corpus Party. This sounds like one of those like this is like one of those Japanese whodunit visual novels. Still waiting for glasses with wipers. Which which futuristic sci-fi movie promised you that? Because the only things I was ever promised by sci-fi were like shoes that self-pump themselves and self-lace and hoverboards. It is. I don't know how I knew that, but maybe I have heard of that game at one point and then maybe I did know of it, but for some reason that's just what I got. Or maybe just the name. Pretty much right about Corpus Party. I have never seen a game like that yet. I'm not that big into like anime whodunits. Like the Sherlock Holmes of anime. Uh, I, like I said, so I can't promise that one to you. And who knows, I could play it at some point if I get interested. Uh, but right now, the only anime game I'm worried about playing, streaming, and making a video on is Persona 5. Because if the Patreon does well enough, I'll be locked into doing that. And that'll make so many people happy over my misery. Hey, Bleeping God, first time catching one of your streams, been watching your games ends for a while. Well, welcome to the Twitch chat. Uh, thank you for watching my stuff for so long, and hopefully you enjoy my antics and the weird, even weirder antics of my stream chats. That's right, chats, two chats, plural. Are you going to send Payday 2? It technically has a storyline. <laughs> well, sometimes you need a little bit more than technically. Almost every game technically has a storyline. Uh, but it still has to have enough for me to work, make it worthwhile. And also, you know, it's a few other things besides just plot. I'll do the paywall to see Dart play uh, Shin Megami Tensai. Well, I haven't put that one as a stretch goal. It's the only two stretch goals I'll have for the Patreon when I release it are Persona 5 and Persona 3. You know, pure anime hell for me. Are you going to... But, uh... Ever play No More Heroes? I have not played those games. I know of them, and I know what they're about, and I've seen plenty of cutscenes, but I've never actually played one. Is my Patreon... Oh, yeah, No. My plan is to, I have the first two uh, videos for DLC sins and uh, classic sins finished. My plan though is to launch it once I have the FF7 video finished. Because you'll be able to watch the FF7 video a day or two early on it as well. In an uncensored format. Without ads. So that way you'll get three different things just for launch. Then quickly following that up with like a fourth thing with like the, bar the bonus Dardigan video. Uh, so that's my current plan. I'm waiting until like, once I have that done. Then I'll launch it. Shin Megami Tensei are some hard are some so hard to cruel or so hard they're cruel. I've heard that. I've heard that those are very difficult games, but they're also not games I have any plan on playing. Final Fantasy VII, your longest sim video. Uh, right now my longest individual video is FF16. Whether this ends up taking the crown for that, I don't know. It's probably going to be a very long video. Yes, I hope it's not as long as FF16s though. I don't like really long videos, man. I, I feel like when people like see me release a video and it's like over an hour long, they're like, oh, fuck, I gotta listen to this asshole for an hour. <laughs> Screw that. You thought the DLC sins thing was a joke in that video? Nope. I am making a Patreon that's going to have DLC sins and classic sins. Because those are two things I've been asked for a lot over the years, but I've never been able to justify making them. Uh, and I've also been reluctant to ever do a Patreon, but... Uh, big changes in life sometimes require you to make big changes in how you run your business. Rip your bank account and my bank account? <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, well, you mean everyone else's bank account? No, I'm actually only be charging like three bucks for my Patreon. I'm keeping it super cheap. I feel like Patreons ask for too much money sometimes for what they offer. And I don't want to be one of those people. So three bucks, you get everything, basically. If you, I'll have I'll have two other options for people who want to pay more to have their like me say their name at the end of Game Sins videos, uh, but that's really it. Three dollars will get you all the actual content, so you don't have to worry about breaking the wallet open on me. I wouldn't want you to. Life's hard enough without spending a bunch of money on a dumbass YouTuber. That's actually reasonable. Yeah, I I didn't want to like I feel like even like five dollars might be too much. So I was like, you know what, three dollars is perfectly fine. I mean, it's a monthly thing anyways, so if you like, you're subscribed all year, that's like 36 bucks. 
Uh, thanks for being decent and being considerate. Yeah, I don't want people to pay the fan tax where people are like a creator to assume just because someone's a fan, they'll pay extra. I hate that mentality. Your live stream will help me determine if this game is trash. I've heard this game is like a, a pretty decent double A game. It's not anything, it's not gonna like change your idea of like a horror game. Like the Resident Evil remakes are better. But it's probably like something like, eh, hey, it'll hold you over. Uh, only three bucks is very doable. I'm guessing the new Sins video will only be. No, uh, no, Game Sins is staying on YouTube. I'm not doing anything with Game Sins other than releasing it like a day or two early on the Patreon. Uh, the only thing that'll be exclusive to the Patreon is the two new spinoffs, D DLC Sins and Classic Sins. DLC Sins, self explainable. Classic Sins will be for games that release before my cutoff date. Um, so that's the plan for that. I'm also going to be releasing like Dardigan Bonus, which is just like anything I want to do that isn't Sins related video content. I have a few things already made for that as well. That can be basically anything. I don't really have a plan for like what style of content it'll be. It's like, do I want to make a video on this? If yes, then it's Dardigan Bonus. Hey, Fresh. What's up, man? How you been? Love yourself, Dardigan. We love you. You know what? I like all of you. <laughs> Can't use the, the big L word. I, I enjoy your company. Uh, but no, I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. From someone who played both scenarios of this game, it's not really scary. I, I've told many of people I don't find horror games scary at all. They don't really work on me, but I still enjoy them. They're probably one of my top most you know, played genres. Just cool chilling while I'm still able to. Oh yeah, you got kids on the way, don't you? Good luck with that. I'm rooting for you. Once again, everyone want that president tier list? Uh, well, I, my plan is to do a cartoon theme song tier list. Maybe at some other point I'll do a pre I'd have to do some history studying on like older- There's a lot of presidents I don't know much about because they're kind of forgettable. Will you do Half-Life 2 on your Patreon? Uh... If I ever sent- like, it's, I actually recorded all the footage of, of Half-Life 2 and its episodes. As well as uh, the Black Mesa Half-Life 1 remake. Or potential videos. I haven't decided whether a, if a game is important enough that I would like not put it on. I might have it on the Patreon then release it onto the YouTube channel. After like a period of exclusivity, it's a very big game. For instance, like Grand Theft Auto 3 would be a classic sim video. Uh, so, but I would probably, for like really big important games like that, not have it remain exclusive for more than a couple months, then I might release it onto the, the, the YouTube channel as well. But for smaller games, or like less important games, but they would always be exclusive. Speaking of this game, I recommend playing as Emily first. Her story seems more relevant while Edward is more wrong place. Wrong. Does it change? Does it like Resident Evil 2 where like whoever you play through first changes the other person's storyline? Or you can have make your own alpha male dating advice. <laughs> Look, I do, I do not want to be one of these people who are like telling men how to be men. How about you define what me means to be a man for yourself and not listen to a dumbass online? Because I can tell you, anyone who's out there trying to sell their idea of manhood, they're just trying to make money off you. <laughs> Let me tell you how to be a man, alright? You gotta like, spit when you walk. Spit everywhere, including on your mom. Spit on your mom. Uh, you'll like, you'll get, don't bathe. If you got dandruff, consider it like a, you'll assign, like a, you know, mark of pride. Uh, what else? Scratch your balls. And, uh, yeah, you only drive with one hand, preferably with your eyes closed. Uh, yeah, you'll sign up to my $10 a month course on how to be a man. No, chat. If you're a man, uh, figure out what it means to be a man for yourself. Because, you know what? There's a lot of different ways you can do that. To be totally honest, I actually think this, for the most part, it's kind of a shame you only have 300,000 subs on YouTube. You know, here's the thing. I don't really worry too much about numbers. I am perfectly happy where I am. Uh, I, I, one thing I realize, if all you ever do is chase the numbers when it comes to social media, you will never be happy. Ever, ever, ever. And it eventually will burn you out. Um, so I stopped worrying about sub counts and everything else a long time ago. And now I just enjoy it. And I've had way more fun once I stopped doing that. Uh, so that's my advice to YouTubers. <laughs> First off, spit on everyone. Second off, don't worry about numbers. One thing I never want to do, Chad, is make one of those videos where I sigh into the camera and like, let's talk. Time to talk, Chad. Suffering from burnout. <laughs> like, I, you know, I'd rather avoid that before you ever got to that point. 
Hey, what's up, Lucky? You missed my conversation on how to be a man by Dardigan. It involves spitting on people and you know, driving with one hand. Just to catch you up. Uh, not going to lie, I needed and still need a guide for Elden Ring. I finally reached the point where I stumbled into a high level area or go to an area I need an item that's way over when in another area. Uh, like stumbling into a high level, that game will literally throw you into a high level area if you open the wrong chest. It's kind of the point. Uh, but if you need a guide for it, don't feel ashamed over it. You, use yourself a guide. Oh my god, Darling, I had to do a spit take at a callback today. Does that mean I'm a man now? A spit take? So you're like, yes, that counts. You now have... I can already see the, the hair growing on your chest. By the way, men out there, what's it like to have hair on your chest? Because I am not a hairy man. I, I, I have... I, outside of my hair on the head, at the top of my head, where I prefer it to be... I don't have much body hair. So, uh, is anyone want to give me their opinions on that old chest hair situation? I'd be happy to hear. You hate it, shave it every two days. Mm, what about back hair? Any of you got that? The glorious, like, back pelt. You're getting boob pillows at this point? Those sound comfy. It itches. See, I actually have, I, my back will sometimes itch when I'm trying to sleep, but I have, I don't really have any hair there. Couldn't figure out what to do next, so I just threw, use an interactive map. Hey man, no shame. Do what you gotta do. You paid money for that game, play however you want. Don't have a lot on my chest, it's peach fun, 39. Like I said, I, I, I'm in my 30s, and I, I, I'm pretty sure if I was going to grow a bunch of hair, I would have, but I, I'm happy all of it's on my head. You know what? I don't mind that one bit, nice place to have it. It's very on display, visible to everyone. Uh, but uh, I've always like, you know, am I missing out on something? <laughs> Did I miss out on the genetics of life? Did I have all this hair everywhere? Nobody. Well, I have some body hair. I just don't have my. I am like, you know how like uh, you know, Xerxes in like that sequel to like the shitty you know, 300 movie like walks into like a pool of magic water and comes out glistening and smooth. I'm essentially him, only with a full head of hair. I don't have, like, chest hair or, like, uh, back hair or... I don't really grow much in, like, the face either. It's, like, very basic bitch kind of, like, facial hair. Only thing I've got is some leg hair, and even that isn't a whole lot. I don't know, I guess I don't have any Greek genes in me or something. Dart is more human than I. I'm more human than human. More human than human. More. Wow, do you want to remember that song? <laughs> tasteful nudes for 100 patrons. <laughs> nope. There's no such thing as a tasteful nude, alright? You may pretend it's tasteful, it's still just a nude. You just put that tasteful in there so you can tell your parents about it and not feel ashamed. It's like, no mom, they're tasteful nudes, it's art. Your hairy is a gorilla. So I have to shave it. All right, so see, see, chat. I didn't learn about this whole hair thing. I didn't realize how unhairy I was until I learned that most guys have ass hair. I was like, "What? You, you got, you got that there? You got ass hair, bro? What? Are you, that sounds like a nightmare." And they're like, "It is. You don't look like, not." Nah, mm. Will you be playing Rise of the Ronin? Possibly. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do this first because I just finished up like three weeks of. FF7. I didn't want to jump into another RPG right away. So maybe after I finish this, I'll give it a consideration. Or maybe I'll just wait and play it you know, later on this year. I don't need to play it right away, because I'm not going to be making a video on it just yet. Right now, my goal is to get FF7 out, and then maybe before Stellar Blade comes out, I can like make a video on this or Alan Wake 2. I know a lot of chats will be like, oh man, he's going to play Stellar Blade? Oh yeah, yeah, hey, Stellar Blade. Oh, that, 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 the booty game. Gladly give every follicle below my chin of a man I keep once up to. I, I mean, I think that's the deal I must have made with a genie while I was still in the womb or something. Like, hey, I don't, look, I, I can lose all the other hair, but nothing on my head. Gotta protect all of that. I had ass hair so thick. My... D d wow, I don't know if I want to like read this all the way out. You're, you're, you, you would come out as you're like, okay, yeah, I don't want to finish that sentence. I feel for you though. 
playing Rise of the Ronin. See, I'm not. I'm turned off off nin Team Ninja games because I tried playing that Wo Lan game after I finished Neo One and Neo Two. I did not like Wo Lan, and I didn't really care that much for Strangers of Paradise. And this feels like just another game made using that same gameplay engine, and I, I'm just a little exhausted by it because I'm just recycling it at this point. Only now it's an open world as well. On top of that, so, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm a lucky twink. True. I am. I, I could almost be an FF7 character if my hair was spikier. I got bodied by Lubu. Everyone got bodied by Lubu. Lubu only. I'm convinced Lubu wasn't even real in history. He's like been created by video games to be like a villain that you had to fight anytime you're in a game set in China. And he's going to be really tough. Like Lubu, not historically accurate. Lubu in video games, basically Sephiroth. Apparently, Greek men are more predisposed to having giant cysts on their ass and back due to their hair. I'm assuming that's because of more hair follicles, right? More hair follicles? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want Stellar Blade because I thrive off game? I mean, the gameplay for Stellar Blade... Isn't there a demo of that coming out tomorrow? Shit, I forgot about it. I might play the demo of that tomorrow if it's true. We might play... Uh, Korean booty game. Lu Bu used to be my most hated weapon farm. <laughs> Got my ass kicked left and right and center. You mean by Wu Bu and Wu Long game? Yeah, I eventually rage quit that game because of it. Also, very oily skin. Well, if you're going to have a butt like that, you might as well keep it oiled. Let's be honest, though. She's probably got a great character. You need to stop, you know, sexualizing that woman. She's doing her best to make a really good video game. And it actually looks pretty decent. It's just that, you know what? It's for the gooners. Uh, so yeah, if the demo comes out tomorrow, expect the Goom Cave to open. And we'll check that out. The Goom Cave. Hey, I should... You know what? I'm going to play this game. I wonder if I should play this game with keyboard and mouse or controller. Uh, you know what? I'll try it with keyboard and mouse. Fuck. I'm dropping shit. <laughs> I need like a dedicated place above my PC controllers, man. The Lockwood region over. By the way, Princess Peach Showtime sold more than Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin in Japan. From what I understand of Japan sales, pretty much Nintendo is the only like game in town outside of mobile stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure like even like PlayStation, uh, big PlayStation games don't even sell that well in Japan these days. That's one of the reasons why Sony is like dedicated to like making games for the West now. It's really just if you're in if you're a Japanese gamer, you're either playing like Nintendo, mobile, and actually PC has been growing there as well. But overall, I believe a lot of Japanese gamers have kind of like been weaning themselves off the console stuff. <coughs> Does the chat ever influence your scripts? Uh, yes, there have been times where Chad has noticed something that I missed and pointed it out to me. And there's also been times where Chad has come up with a line that I ended up using in a video. So, I am not above feeling, I mean using, the content Chad will provide at times. I see you're using face cam tonight. What? <laughs> Okay, I had to like check. Okay, that was a good prank if that was what you just did. Because I actually had to check and see if I had a face cam up. Because wait a minute, I don't even have a camera pointed at me. I commend you on making me paranoid for a second. I said it on YouTube? I think you misheard me because I don't think the word face cam left my mouth until you said it and I read it. Maybe you misheard me say something about controllers or whatever. Alright. Okay, let me get this going. Alright, chat. Get my recording. I'm gonna see if this... I'm gonna try using Bandicam to record this. Let me know if it adds static to my microphone, though. Sometimes it does it. Camera's outside my window. Ultimate camera screen. Alright, uh... Alright, so... Right. I'm going to hit record now. Let me know if this adds static. 
All right, I now have bandy cam going. Uh, is the audio still good? Paddle says it's going to turn my monitor on for this, my PC monitor. As in, I'm going to need the yo, the video game monitor on to play it. It's kind of like a subtle humble brag that I normally play my games with my monitor off. Also, pretends to know, thank you for the 68 months, man. So close. Uh, there's crackling. Shit. Okay, we have to use OBS then. I had a feeling this game was going to do that. I had a feeling. All right. OBS it is. I'm glad I prepared. Is it raining on your mic? Sometimes when trying to use Bandicam to record rather than OBS, it'll introduce like static to my microphone for some reason out of the audio. I don't know why. All right. Uh, let's see. Mid-tones. You know what? This looks all good to me. Uh, video. DLSS. Yes, please. Ultra performance. Deep learning. Uh, you know what? Sure. Give me all that fancy shit. Uh, let's lock that to 60, please. That looks pretty good to me. Your shadow is biting your leg. You know what? I like this fiction you're creating. Party time, cut the lights. You know what? Let me turn off one of my lights here. W only one note, both. Let me grab the other one. Bitrate connection, probably. Uh, I think it's actually because uh, I'm using my GPU to like stream and record with. And for some reason, some games use maybe use whatever I would use to process the audio. That's just my guess, though. Daddy Dart. You know what? I don't mind it. You can call me that. But it comes with consequences. Gonna have to see that report card. <laughs> Daddy Dart, Daddy Dart, I got an A in math. She got a B in social studies. That reminds me of Dadigan Arc. I like that I have story arcs and that you're like the lore keeper of them. Like, oh yes, let me tell you of the great Daddy Arc. <laughs> when Chat was obsessed with calling Dardigan Daddy. For some reason that only the ancients know. Build a view 65? Uh, how about... Oh, you can't make it 69. Boo. Uh, let's try 75. Motion blur. Low. Or off. Depth of field. Chromatic aberration. Nope. High dynamic range. Display, uh, depth of field. Eh. Uh, could do with or without. I'll go with, with it on for there right now. I, I called you Dardigan Daddy. Oh no, I'm doomed. You know what? Call me Daddy as much as you like. It's true. I can't deny it. I ha I give off, even though I am not a dad, I give off massive Chad Dad energy. I haven't been in Twitch channel. Hey man, you don't have to apologize for not being in a Twitch chat. Of all the con of all the things you do in life, not apologizing for being on a weird ass social media website, watching, wasting your time watching me play video games, that is not one of them. Be proud of that accomplishment. Like, yeah, I, I stayed away for like months this time. <laughs> Alright, uh, let, let, let us begin our journey now. Standard. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems to guide the player modern. Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Hmm, you know what, we'll start off on modern and then see if we want to switch to old school. I'm addicting. Am I? Like fentanyl or am I more like crack? <laughs> am I like a smooth, good tasting crack or a hard hitting fentanyl? Also, rivet. For good Friday evenings, make sure you try New York crack. Goes down smooth. I got casual weed vibes. Weed vibes. Okay, so I'm just what you use to like get rid of the anxiety. Will Chadley still contact us? Oh, Cloud, you seem to be in the 1910s. In Louisiana, no doubt. This is an excellent time to learn about new materia. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? Hey, it's that guy from Stranger Things. He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. 
He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it. This seems like me. way too smooth of a ride for a car like family. this on a dirt road. Possession. No, detective. They should be like jumping up and down in these seats. Practically every member of the Harwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Faces look a little weird. This is not a triple A game. You do not expect full on multi million dollar facial capture here. Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the yes, other people of being immaculate. involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be I'm playing real? this on PC, my brother. Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Literary it's a cigarette butt in the 1910s. That is basically what you'd like you you some people. Not sure where I'm going with this, but you know, in the 1910s, I don't think they had a concept of littering yet. My uncle's like that. We're returning the cigarette butt to nature. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab. This shouldn't cost as much as a triple A game. This didn't. This was only like 50 bucks. Going alone. This game is in the 1930s. Wasn't the original one in like the 1910s? Or Did something? you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. This game is hideous for $60. Uh, I don't know. It looks fine to me. Alright, choose your character. Edward Conby. Or Emily Hartwood, Jody Comer. No, where, who, okay, both of these are TV actors, right? One of them I know. I don't really know much about this lady. This game is sixty in Germany. A regional pricing man. <clears throat> Armby was a drunken lout, deep in debt, and Emily was beside herself with concern over a deceased uncle. Huh. Right, I think I'm gonna play as Carnby. <clears throat> Isn't like the original Hello? opening scene of this game like something looking Hello? out the window at them? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Okay, that is a solid 8 out of 10 sneeze. That was a warble effect on the second one. Powerful sneeze, chat. Powerful. That that was no yeah, that was not just a sneeze, that was a full-on gazoon tight. Uh look for a way inside the house. Forgot they had subtitles on, by the way. Uh, mm, I might leave them on. I don't know. Well, wait, there's subtitle size options. If we make them small, it's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Made by the emperor? You mean the the 40k emperor? <laughs> Pretty sure that's like a heresy to sneeze in the world of Warhammer 40k. Like what? Which god of like the the warp did you just appease by sneezing? Is that Nurgle? That'd definitely be Nurgle, wouldn't it? Heresy. 
purge. <laughs> Don't forget to check your notes. They are on, uh, they're narrated, uh, journal. Okay. Carnby, why am I hearing from Gloria Allen that you got some job at the loony bin? You better not be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride. So get me my money. I'll be a maca bean all night, so you better score some dough. So you said these are like, oh, it is voice. Carnby, why am I hearing from Gloria Allen? Isn't that something from the original game? The loony bin? That these notes were always you like voice. better not be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride, so get me my money. I'll be at the Maccabean all night if you score some dough. Oh, bad Morton. Decetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry eyed carpet beggar called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. You like my narration better, but I don't have like an old timey accent. No, or do I? Here. Did did they really have like pocket flashlights back then? <clears throat> Okay. That is way too bright for a flashlight back then, I felt. This is like a LED. Yeah, that, I mean, they could have had like small flashlights, but this is literally would be an LED at this size. The Whatever like incandescent bulb you could fit in there would be extremely tiny and very dim. Does a southern man, who do you hate more, carpetbaggers or Catholics? I, I, I don't hate either of those things. I, first of all, I don't even know what a carpetbagger is. And I don't, I've never had reason to hate Catholics. I'm not religious. So I would say both fine in my back, in my book. First pocket flashlight was eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, but was it this, this pocketable? This feels like it's. But I don't know. I've seen like tiny flashlights before, but they were still pretty big. Even for those times. Well, there's that Resident Evil style. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was some, like, frame loss. <clears throat> A little awkward on the animation there, if we're being totally honest. Who brings only six bullets, by the way? Carpetbagger is a northern Yankee who moves to the south to start a business. We just call those job creators now. Bert. Sh miss my opportunity. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Wonder how this runs on console? Uh, good question. But it's usually PC that suffers the most from bad ports these days. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Looks like an Egyptian artifact down there, boy. I think I saw that one at the Met when I was there. Runs well on PS5 because that is what you got it on. Yeah, usually they make it for the PS5 first and like port it to everything else. 
Okay, I was just walking toward a flower game. It couldn't be that bad for you to render it. I'm using DL... Okay, let me, like, look at my settings a little bit here. We might need to turn some things down. We just set it to high. I'm on a 4080, by the way. I just want to point that out. Whoa. What a mansion. Or what a greed house. I also had this cap to 60 frames, don't I? hearing a story about your southern police class where a German soldier POW escaped from a camp in North Carolina and when he got house an old woman shot him and the old woman was remorse because she thought she had shot a northerner this one big tree to fit inside a conservatory you gonna go eat? hey have a good meal man have a good meal Chad I think I might be allergic to all of you because I like feel like my nose is getting stuffy housekeeper's key is that where you normally keep it? You show some respect to Total Biscuit and raise that FOV. For an FPS game, uh, I would definitely raise it to around 80 to 90. For an over-the-shoulder game like this, you don't necessarily want it too high because then the aiming gets really wonky. It can like be a little difficult to like aim at anything sometimes. If I ever hear of Cry of Fear, that's the. It's like the. It's a. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's the horror game that's made off Steam's old engine. I mean, Half-Life's old engine. It's also free, I believe. Free is a nod to the old tree in the original. I think I've seen a play... If I recall correctly, I've seen like a playthrough of the original game. The villain is like part tree, right? At the end of it. Or, like he's like tied up to one or something. drink you know I've seen a lot of ways to, like block the player oh no there's a chain I was about to say did the potted plants keep me from going up the stairs Ugh. you gotta burn him down isn't like the original game just super hard to play because you die if you enter the wrong room at times like here's a trap that kills you This is the game that had a dude wielding a giant pair of hedge clippers. No, you're thinking of Clock Tower. G key is your healing button? That's a little out of the way. Alright, all right, yeah, well, I'll, I'll cope. I'll cope. Don't mind if I do. This greenhouse looks exactly like the one from Nancy Drew game that takes place in an old British manor. I'll take your word on that because I have never in my life played a Nancy Drew game. Are those the, those are usually like like find the missing item kind of games, right? Or maybe point and click adventures. I don't know. I'm pretty sure most greenhouses kind of do look alike too. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust. Saying, yeah, I know there's a bunch of them, like a ton a of Nancy Drew games. Water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had 
turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. <laughs> now that's a statement. I've skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Hmm. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. You know what? <clears throat> she she makes a good sun, case. One dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madam. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, uh, you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. What's up, White? I'm ready one? to do what it <clears throat> takes. Mm, do not I feel like be Deadly so Premonition would be fun to stream. I actually own that game now. Left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of that that got spoken that wasn't actually in text. I'm not sure they forgot it or not. Uh, <laughs> wait, was she just, like, reciting all this to, like, the shop clerk? <laughs> also, what store do you go to to buy sacred sand, black cat oil, and a devil shoestring? I'm just saying you ain't getting one of those at a dollar, General. This secretly a Gabriel Knight game? Well, the original kind of came out during the time of Gabriel Knight. That's one of those series I've never played but I know about, and they could probably resurrect it. Some of the classic Fallout games are free with Prime and are definitely worth a try. Uh, so you mean like Fallout 1 and 2? There aren't, those are really the only two like classic Fallout games. Unless you also, I guess, count Fallout Tactics. Honestly though, Fallout 1 is a pretty flawed game. Fallout 2 is like the really good one. Looks like we're doing voodoo slander again. Considering what's going on in Haiti right now, I don't know if we need to bother slandering voodoo. You could actually set a pretty convincing, like, you know, Cthulhu horror story right now in Haiti. Like, people are eating each other over there. Then again, there's people who got caught eating people here in the in the U.S. as well, but probably a little bit more of it going on there. Gris Gris is a protection amulet. You know, I thought that was, like, food. <laughs> Like, oh, give me some of that gree gree. We don't talk about Fallout Bros. But we just did. Hmm, let me give me some of that gumbo. You like Fallout 4? Was there something wrong with it? I didn't play Fallout 4. I've, then again, I have not been into Bethesda games for a while. But, uh... I heard people got bored. It didn't really, like, stick like Fallout 3 did. Didn't have enough, like, y'all, new stuff going for it. It just felt like, oh, there's just more Bethesda shit only now without the charm. <coughs> A rat poison. <laughs> what was that? Hmm. Uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Hmm. 
Guess I shouldn't be surprised when I'm looking at the ratings for the new DLC that dropped. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and all of them are one stars. Well, they, they actually had a trailer for the, the Joker DLC today. Or like the Jonkler or whatever people are calling him. Starfield is a Bethesda game that's just more Bethesda but without the charm. The, the Starfield's biggest issue besides being like just more Bethesda is it doesn't even feel like good Bethesda. Like half of Bethesda's game's charms are their jankiness. It doesn't even really have that going for it. Starfield essentially felt like a mismatched collection of Skyrim mods that they threw together and then called it a new game. It just, it just, none of it gelled well together and it just, it, it's not, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know why that game even exists, if I'm being honest. I don't know how anyone working on that would get excited, like, oh yeah, we're just gonna make Fallout only with like a, a very tiny amount of space in it. You like Starfield? I I'm not one of those people. I was like, wow, exactly as bullshit as I expected it to be. But hey, if you enjoyed it, or if you got 300 hours worth of enjoyment out of it, more power to you. To me though, I just, ugh, I don't know. If, if, look, the last Bethesda game I played and enjoyed was Fallout 3. I played Oblivion. I even played the DLC for Oblivion. And I played Fallout 3. And after that, I was kind of like done. Because I was like, you know what? I've kind of like played as much of this style of like an RPG that I can. And... Since then, they I, I kept expecting them to like redevelop themselves and come up with something new. They just kept releasing the same game. I just go. I just went backwards. Went all the way backwards. A fool I am, chat. Yeah, we did th this room. Starting, it's bigger now. There's more to it. Bigger is better, right? That's what we're told to believe. You know what? I once stayed at a cabin that had a stove just like this in it. It wasn't hooked up for you to use, so I'm kind of like missed out on that opportunity. But I would like to like try cooking on something like this at some point in my life, if that's even possible anymore. Like these big ass like wood. Ovens. Alright, so which way am I going? Upstage. Hmm. Oh no! No! Not one of these puzzles. Okay, maybe just missing pieces. No, this is gonna be a sliding puzzle. Fuck that. Why would you have a, a, a sliding puzzle on a boiler? Uh, YouTubers, my YouTube channel out there, they, you'll you'll learn about me, the one type of puzzle I hate more than any other. Are these sliding square puzzles, these pieces of shit. Are there any theories on what happened for what? For what happened for what? Uh, sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. What's up, Polly? How you Mr. doing? Mr. Waits. I don't think I can get back past this until I get it fixed. Yeah. Oh. You know, I'm pretty sure like steam leaking out of your boiler like that is a big problem. Saying. Don't worry, dart is not a slide puzzle. It's an incredibly okay, but just like me putting the things into it, that's fine. But it looks like a slide puzzle. I think we go upstairs, but. Yeah, the atmosphere of the game is pretty solid. Yeah, I keep my bullets in the refrigerator as well. Safe for them being there. Keeps the, the gunpowder nice and cool at a proper temperature. 
streetcar ticket. Laganape. Or Laganape. I'm not sure that how you pronounce that, honestly. You're craving pizza? What's stopping you from having pizza? You're an adult, man. If you crave pizza, the only one stopping you from getting it is yourself. Thoughts about Ken Levine's next game, System Shock 2, but different? Uh, I read about it. It's like he's been on this this weird tend about narrative Legos for a while. Uh, so I have my doubts. It, it feels like he's just gonna like, uh, we have like, you know, an A, like, we have a bit of like an in-game director that will change events around based on what your choices are. I'll definitely be playing it, but I'm not sold on it. got an AI who definitely isn't well they've already said like the three people you talk to in that game are like robots they're just more quirky versions of Shodan uh, but no it's like the game will change depending every time someone promises like a game it will change based on your input uh, it's always a massive red flag <laughs> like oh I guess there'll be a few superficial changes then but it also sounds like it might be a little bit like a roguelike in that you have you die and you get reprinted, so you do like another run. But uh yeah, well I mean he's been working this game for like ever since Bioshock given it as well, so who knows. sending a DM but Twitch is asking for my phone number which I'm not giving to them. Oh you're talking about you you have you are you trying to use the whisper system on Twitch? Hmm. Hmm. A library. Hey this is John Twitch. I was wondering why you're not turning on your regularly scheduled Twitch stream. I like the idea. There's this one. They're like, I, I am the official John Twitch. Mm, Dorsetto floor. You, chat, you know you're loaded when you have a floor plan of your house mounted in a you know, well. Usually, you know you're loaded when you have a big house, but when you need an actual map to find your way around your own home, maybe it's time to consider your house is too freaking big. Can I sit chat to allow verified accounts to comment? Why would I do that though? I want as many people as possible commenting. Is there someone in chat you don't like, Viva? <laughs> like this fucking bastard. Use the piazza key. I almost called it a pizza key. Guess that is not the right key. Yeah, I've got too much. You know what? I actually probably should save my game for the first time as well. But, uh, yeah. What Letson is talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I think Twitch chat is doing just fine the way it is. I don't need to make changes to it. Sunday, June 22nd. Ask I would like to talk with you about your extended warranty. That joke is like 2022, man. Or it might like, or like talk about your your car insurance or your car loan. Didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I don't mean to put you down when you're trying to be funny. I'm just giving you critical advice on how to like improve. Time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. I wanted to put my it head turns up by itself, in a wall when I have to wait. ship stopped me in Starfield to talk to about my ship's extended Jack warranty. Is. They, I didn't have I that happen. That would have been a stopping point for me if it had. Strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said, like those blots and streaks. Wasn't being too serious. Oh no, I got your your intention, and I appreciate it. I appreciate Chad. Even like 
<clears throat> lazy attempts at humor because most of my attempts at humor are known for being a bit lazy. I'd be a hypocrite if I'd like, get on my level, son. Get on my level. Map? This game thinks I need a map. Hmm. I need the key. This game might actually be more key dependent than a Resident Evil game. Your videos are amazing and I love your work. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. I will have another one out for you as soon as I can. Along with a few bonus ones. It's wedged shut. Who would do this from the outside of their Okay. Why is walking like an old man? I mean, I could hit the run button, but I was like letting the atmosphere build slowly, all right? Hmm. Looks important. Hmm. You do need a map? I mean, I probably do, but it's I wanted to shot. pretend like I don't. I got a pizza, a pizza key, so. Where's the pizza room? Oh, right, it's right there. It's in there. It's next to the dining room. In the stairwell. So many Silent Hill doors. Most of the doors in Silent Hill are just broken and you can never open them though. Like the door is locked and jammed. It can never be opened. Where am I? I'm in the boiler room. Okay. Upstairs. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so it's like over in there. There we go. Apologize for being so late. Oh no, you're fine, man. Don't you ever worry about me. Oh, there's no such thing as being late to a live stream, all right? You arrive when you arrive. This ain't like it's your job you're showing up to. Like, I'm sorry, boss. I've been to be watching the streams since the get-go. Oh. I need the key. Chad, I still believe a Scooby-Doo, an actual, like, horror-based Scooby-Doo game would be freaking brilliant, and no one has made it yet. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, Voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, 
The police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray... When is this game set? Of it this would be in like the 1920s, home, I believe. you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families. 1930 is right there on the, on the newspaper in front of you, actually. does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately, yeah, I believe it's said in Louisiana. Hollywood that she has I finished think. a movie. They keep they talking about yo, yo, Creole word and like yo, that gumbo. That film oh, yeah, where else would it be in the Louisiana? Next year. Chad, have you ever realized this accent doesn't exist anymore? You never see, you never hear someone who sounds like, Ah, oh, yes, the rumors are regarding Arthur Cassandra Bullegard making the Chateau a home verified. Where did that accent go? Or is that ever a real accent and just what they put on to make it sound like for like radio broadcasts? It's a thing? Like what region is that from? You know a guy who talks like this? It's called Mid-Atlantic. I never hear it anymore. Oh, rubber stamp. Slaughter Gulch is a reference to the third Alone in the Dark game. It's the town where the game was set. Is that the one that's like a western, though? Hello. Like some service. Back to work, Holly. Hey, have a good night, man. Hmm. We have a combo of British, UK, and Nor'eastern. Catherine Hepburn is a great reference to someone who used that. Uh, who's used this kind of accent. Yeah, just like, I, I never heard anyone like, I guess, I don't know, maybe it just like fell out of practice for like using it for like people like in entertainment. Because it used to be a big thing. Like everyone in entertainment used to have that voice, I feel like. This is a fake accent called the Mid-Atlantic. I'll say, well, we have two different accounts of it being fake or real now. It's thought to actors and newscasters as correct speech. Chat, we need like a name for my accent because no one can ever place it. <laughs> like, what would you... Uh, chat, give me some possible names for my accent. This could be fun, all right? I need the key. You sound like a guy who would tell me about keto diets. I'm not sure whether I should be taking offense at that or not. The moo accent? The moo. I'm a true Chad. He doesn't need a map. I have... I mean, I, I thought you were going to say I'm a true Chad because of the accent. But, you know, the map thing, too. That, weirdly enough, there were a lot of dudes who tried to, like, I don't think it's a thing so much anymore, but remember those, like, oh, you ever seen, like, old, like, 80s and 90s movies or shows, like, the guy will get lost? Like, honey, why don't you use a map? He's like, I'm not lost. Getting lost was apparently a big shame on your masculinity. Like, I'm not lost, honey. Jesus Christ, give me a minute. That's where it came. Hmm. Your dad was like that. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I'm going, all right? It's called being a real man. Look, I've already told you if you want to be a real man, you got to take my $10 course. Now I'll teach you to spit on everybody. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. Yeah, I've been robbing you, lady. Stole all of your ammunition. Inside. I do mind. This is private property. 
You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking You're for You're not whining? I didn't say you were. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? What a strange Jeremy. assortment of characters Am in this right? place. She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? So that's the flapper, My name's right? Edward Carnby, like the 1920s private style. Investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee. She needs like a Keep big cigarette holder child. though, instead of just holding it between her fingers. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. What does we can't hear Jeremy you knocking any more mean? Missing. I know it's mysterious, so we'll worry, find out why. It might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, One of the possible names tomorrow. for my accent right, was anti-hick. We'll you don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Looks like an anime flapper. All right, how can you tell the difference between an anime flapper and a real one? Without the one of them having gigantic eyes. Ooh, those frames. Oof. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Hey, look at that. That mirror not only like works, but it magnifies you. This doesn't feel like I'm looking into a mirror. This feels like I'm looking into like a like a video. It feels weird and unsettling. Maybe that's the whole point since it is a horror game, but something just feels off about this mirror. Hmm. Hmm. God, th this game needs a crowbar so badly. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of. Hey, is that it a human skull? <laughs> right in front of you? Is that, is that a human skull on the table that we should be talking about and having a conversation over? No? <laughs> We're not going to talk about the human skull on right next to the fruit bowl? This is completely normal, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, like my grandmother had like five. Perfectly normal in this neck of the woods. Well, you don't have a skull on your table? And like creepy zombie clay statues? Oh, that's a slide puzzle. <laughs> that's definitely a slide puzzle. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Can't sleep at night without my skull. My spirit spills out of my tired shape. I kind of low key have Only always wanted a human skull though. Shelters my remaining sanity. Staring. Yo, just 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 being honest with you, I'm a little jealous. I always wanted one of like the mantelpiece set up on a shelf somewhere. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish. So that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pierosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him. Moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out Some of Some Hamlet productions use a real human skull. I've read about that, actually. I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? 
that triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's got more notes. Have I, been, I haven't missed pages on other people's notes, have I? Toggle pages. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont How far are you from Harbor? a cemetery and do you own Those a shovel? My memories. I'm about Nothing. a mile or a couple of miles away from an actual cemetery. Is perhaps a chance? I do not own a so shovel. small for me to see Tara Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to talk. Gotta get my silver shovel. I'm a man. Instead, I'm a more of a crowbar type of man myself. Told Batiste, my caretaker, that he would be so I can I can pry open you know, the other coffin after we you dig you dig it up. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Desetto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop him. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe hmm. Beauregard. Yake University used to have a secret student club called Skull and Bones. Isn't that the one that all the presidents were part of? Yeah. Or something like that. And they also made a movie about it. The dark man offered me a prison. And I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pack. Everyone is safe, except for me. The dark man. You have a fifth page with nothing on it. This this feels like a, like a, a chat. Was this journal written by Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> dark man offered me a prison. <laughs> Not accepted. Signed that miscarried contract. Entered a dark pact. <laughs> Everyone is safe, except for me. <laughs> Got a key item. Both bushes were a part of it. Ah, well, it's Yale. They're always gonna have exclusive clubs. That's uh, Paul Mercier voicing Jeremy Hartwood. He was Leon Kennedy in OG Resident Evil. Oh, really? I did. I would not have guessed. I mean, I would not have recognized the voice. Ah, I see we have a uh, an original. Uh, uh, trying to think of a landscape artist. Uh, oh, there's clearly an original. Uh, uh, shit. I don't know much about artists, apparently. Monet. Yes, an original Monet. Very tasteful. Could have also gone with that PBS guy. Oh, for fucking hell. Okay, this ain't so bad. Hey, you know anything about this? Hey, have a good night, Some Western. Sort of talisman? No, I Bob don't. Ross, yeah, Bob Ross. Oh, help me out here, will you? After this cutscene is over, I have a complaint I want to like you know, mention. That is very, is very well thought out. I 
It'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. It's one I think everyone's gonna oh. like find agreement with as well. It's striking. I want to save this one. This is the effect art has on you, you know. Wasn't this kind of the plot of the last Cthulhu base game I played? That you know, Call of Cthulhu game, where it's about like an artist calling in on, Cthulhu and everything. Yeah, I'm coming. <clears throat> Miss Hartwood. Uh, Emily. This is a nice cutscene with this still frame. <laughs> Entered the world of Silent Hill's Fog World, I see. All right, here's my complaint I had in my head, and I've had this I, this complaint for a while. Chad, have you noticed the? All right, there's been quite a few like Lovecraftian-inspired video games over the years. Chat, can you name the one thing they all have in common besides love besides Lovecraftian ethos or mythos? What is the one thing everyone who wants to make a Lovecraftian-inspired game have in it? White people. <laughs> that is very common for Lovecraft. No, no, it's actually detectives. You got it, Iris. Iris got it. Every one of them is always a film noir detective story. And I hate to break it to you. Whenever you make a set of detective story in the world of Lovecraft, it's always a whodunit, and it's always fucking Cthulhu. <laughs> There's never a mystery in who did it, because it's like, oh, it's, it's Cthulhu who did it. Or whatever, like, Elder God they're using. It's like they need to get away with this... I don't think there was a single detective in any Lovecraft actual written story. It was usually like a, like a professor or a journalist, maybe, or just some average guy working in a museum. There, I don't think any of them was like a private eye. But video games in particular, whenever they want to like do a video game set and use a Lovecraft inspired stuff, it is always like a detective. <laughs> they really need to like move past this idea that only detectives can be like the main characters in a Lovecraftian video game. Funny because I put in a noir detective character in my short story anthology and his noir nature is usually used as a joke. Also, it's a deconstruction, you mean? Uh, but yeah, like. Almost every I can I'm racking my brain for one that isn't like has some kind of detective in it, and like everyone I can think of, it's always a detective. Here I'll give you one for free. All right, go the opposite route. Make the the main character of a Lovecraftian story like a gangster, like this is a straight up like Italian 1920s gangster, and like they rob a museum or some shit, and they like steal some artifact, and then like you'll. Uh, yeah, some, something different, all right? That could actually work and maybe be a bit... It's a new angle on it. So there you go. There, there's my... Yo, there's a free one, game developers. Say so that could work? It could work. And you know what? I'll even make another suggestion. We need to get... A, there's a like one elder god that... Uh, or an old god that doesn't get m mentioned nearly as much as he should because he would work so much better. And it's that, uh, what's the Egyptian old god, or like he pretends to be like an Egyptian pharaoh, but he like runs like a, a weird museum full of stuff that makes people crazy? Uh, Yob, sh sort of the shit. My, it's been a while. Uh, no, not Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Fucking Yu Gi Oh! What? Uh, uh, Yog Soho. No, no, is it Yog Soho? Uh, Nyarlothotep. Nyarlothotep. He's like the most human of any of like the Lovecraftian gods because he pretends to be a human. 
Make him like the villain or something. Yeah, go with Nyarlathotep. So there you go. Prisoner, like a like a gangster, robs like you know, Nyarlathotep's uh, like curio museum. Uh, you can even have some cool. You could do some cool shit with that. Like imagine like a scene where like the gangster gets like a pair of cement shoes and like toss off a bridge and into the water and while he's like down there he like sees like weird underwater like monster shit and that, then he like somehow gets free from that there you go it writes itself all right you don't need to make everything a goddamn detective all right i'm, I'm off my rent now I've, I've made my case you just got options all right just gonna tell you this now, F key is melee, and melee weapons break after several uses. Good thing I only have a pistol right now. Thank you for coming to his TED talk. Yeah, that's right, there you go. Well, that's more like my game, uh, game, uh, game con talk. You've mentioned him before, he's a good choice because he actually wants to interact with people. Yeah, the other ones couldn't care less about humans, they don't even know we exist, we're so insignificant. But he's one who actually wants to screw with humans. I love detective games, but only when I, the game is made around actual investigations like L.A. and War. Yeah, like another like detective Lovecraft game was that uh the Sunken City game. So that that one was based around detective as well, like heavily about investigation. Can you pistol whip people? I don't believe I can. All right, I'm assuming we get to shoot things now. Oh, is this a Jesus? Something about this seems sacrilegious with that, like, no-face person next to it. Not that I want to, like, badmouth detectives, or, like, you know, you know, pulp detectives can be a good, you know, fictional character. It's just that every game goes with pulp detectives for, like, Lovecraft. Uh, Dredge, but there are others I've seen recently. Uh, yeah, that one is a fishing game, but I'm not sure how much, how much plot is there in Dredge. I haven't really played that one. You never go full detective. You never go full noir. Don't go noir tarded, alright? <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Miss. You show me the way out of this here building. Oh, ow. Shit, I can't see. I can't see. Right, have a drink. Okay, reloading, just learn, takes a while. Little vine zombies, common thing here in Louisiana. Usually plant people aren't to the middle. This game's you know, breaking the mold. need a better gun this here like 38 special you're uh, hmm. okay we're no longer in a mansion we're in the town somewhere do I have a map of this place? Yeah, they really are taking a little bit of like Silent Hill into this. What the hell is going on? This is a touch of Silent Hill. It's all right. You know, like actually a Silent Hill game that's a prequel set in like the 50s would be pretty interesting. Oh, yes. Alcohol from the trash. Favorite of my local custom here. Johnny the Conqueror. Hmm. 
Your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would thank your man, compare. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know, surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Yeah, yeah, the voice acting in this game is pretty solid. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Hey, you might have had one of your lizards. Classic. Oh, I can't have one. Oh, take one of my snakes. I've got plenty of them. You know, I thought this was going to be like a bakery. <laughs> Didn't think it's like, oh, it's like a voodoo shop. However, I know some people who would love to come here. You know what? I would love to come here just because I can, then I could say, hey, I've been to a voodoo shop. They had like lizards and like vials of liquid on sale, man. John is an African prince, son of King of Congo, said to have ridden a giant crow called Old Familiar. He was sold as a slave in the Americas despite his enslavement. His spirit was never broken. He survived in folklore as a reluctant folk hero, sort of trickster figure. Oh, is that what his store is named after? Thanks for the history update. I didn't know that. You want to come along? Nah. For a 1930s Southerner, a main character is surprisingly not that racist. Well, he might not be Southerner. He doesn't sound like he is anyways. He might be from out of state. Also, not everyone from that era was racist. There's definitely a lot more of them. And openly so. But not everyone you would encounter would be. Maybe this guy is just like a consonant professional. Also, probably not a good idea to spout off racism when a big guy with a hammer is, like, right behind you. Just as, like, a nod. Like, you know what? It pays to be friendly sometimes. Would be funny to have an openly racist main character in a historical game. Uh, yeah, they'd probably want to, like, tailor that, though, by having them, like, come around by the end of it. Or, like, by at some point. I mean, you did have Waka. He have, like, the final solution against the Albed. Like, I hate them out bed, y'all. That's sort of like that, but then, you know, that fictional racism doesn't hit as strong, does it? I can't go that way. Damn, out bed, they're mocking up. <laughs> I just want to play Blitzball, man. I don't know why I'm putting man in there. Waka never says that. He's like, brother. Just want to play Blitzball, brother. Okay, well, before we go down there and see what that's all about, let's go down this way. Hmm. It's already bloody, though. Nice. in this game is a little hard. <laughs> How was the Louisiana experience? Oh, uh, well, they're getting the setting right, I believe. Definitely getting that pretty well. Yeah, 
It's like Louisiana plus Silent Hill at this moment, though. Speaking of Silent Hill, uh, that's going to be the first classic sin video for those who don't know. I already got it finished, by the way. Pretty good. Louisiana hills. Well, Louisiana is not known for hills. Quickly throw the... You can... Items can be thrown to enemies or, or used to distract them. Tap Q to quickly throw an item. Doesn't work. Tap... It said Q, right? Unless it's some other item I haven't picked up yet that I can throw. Magical axe and a plow he got from the devil's daughter. Sounds like he could make his own main character, but <clears throat> you know what? Let's just go shoot this dude. Tap Q and quickly the hold Q to aim. I Q does nothing, game. I want to point this out. I am tapping and holding that Q button. Not a thing. At the stand near it. Stand near what? Oh, that thing. Okay. I didn't even see it. Alright, this is why we need the yellow paint. You know, this guy's taking this all really well. Well, that didn't help me much, by the way. Okay, we, we have any more? No. Assuming I can't fight this thing. Hey, look at that. Great bit. Thank you for the, the Prime sub. 17 months. Yo, Darian. Good to see you on YouTube. Love the Final Fantasy streams. It was epic. You know what? My pleasure, man. The YouTube stuff went really well. I was very surprised with how like, easy that was to like stream to two platforms. Didn't really have nearly as many technical issues as I thought I was going to have. And you, and you know what? We've made new friends along the way. Haven't we, YouTube guys? <laughs> We've gotten to know each other so well. It's like I feel like I can smell you even. Well, that's actually a doable. <laughs> For some of you. But you know what? It's a good musky odor. How do I get out of... Okay, I was like crouched for a long, too, very long time there. I like that they put all these like little bells you can ring along with bicycles for like no reason. I guess you can like attract enemies with I them later. I can't go that way. If I ever get that game because I am stuck on that stupid race in the first Mafia... Oh, that... Oh, are you playing the remake of it? I hate to say this, but I beat that race on my first try. <laughs> People were telling me how difficult it was, but when I played the remake of Mafia 1, like, beat it, no problem. Love all around for us YouTube guys. I love both my audiences. I have no favorites. You guys are... Yeah, I like that actually both audiences have their own different feel to them. Or it seems like it's developing in that way. Uh, because Twitch is like a bunch of people who have like known each other for years now. It's like a group of friends who kind of like come and hang out. And like have a video game on the background. Uh, YouTube is like developing in a way it seems like it's more like somewhat, uh, well, you know, it hasn't really defined itself entirely yet, but it's getting there. But it feels more like a public area where people just have discussions and like, you know, not so much like the friendship group. But maybe it'll go that way eventually. Gonna have a Twitch versus YouTube game night one of these days. You know what? Not a bad idea. Hmm. The gumbo was getting a bit thick these days. Finally, prove who's the superior chat. We don't need any, like, battle for superiority here. Because all that matters is the streamer is in control. Uh, you also have a dodge key. Press space to dodge. 
Oh, you're right. You gotta tap it really, like, twice, though. Oh, no. I, oh, that's good. Alright. Something the game should have probably told me. Of the bullets already. Hmm. Standing right there, chat. Oh, oh, I don't like it. You know what? If you got that fear of worms, this is not gonna be an enemy good for you. Extra gross. You know what? Gross is good, though. Gummy worms? Well, I've never been a fan of gummy worms, either. Make for good fishing bait. Go on that fishing trip. You get a line and I get a hole. We'll go down to the fishing hole, baby. Uh, Juju. I thought this was like one of those things you put your kite string around for a second. You get a line and I get a hole. Sorry, that's just like an easy song to sing. Juju is a magical talisman. Yeah, I know Sam's that much, partner. but at first I thought, oh, it's Let's a kite see if string. She's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Hmm. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Clue. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old. The base could be from antiquity, a polished black sunstone. It's blue, not black. Uh, in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. That's our first clue of blues. <laughs> now what will we do? You know, I saw a post from that original, like, Blue's Clues guy recently on Reddit. <laughs> Maybe it's just the one from Reddit posting. Like, I forget what it was, though, but I kind of just always, every once in a while, remember that was a show that existed. I think it's meant for the talisman. Always drink your it needs numbers. oval like team. Coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Yeah, no, I, I'm gonna look around this room first game. You hold your horses. We just got a letter. I wonder what I wonder who it's from. We're all gonna play blues clues because we're really smart. <laughs> But some of us are smarter than others because we're all born dumb. Alright, uh... Hmm... 358. It 
it's showing something. A place? Where is that? There's a couch with a quilt on it. Uh, huh. The frame rate's a little bad. This door just opened and it looks like it's like, you know, the inside of that lady's refrigerator from Ghostbuster. You know, speaking of Ghostbuster, did anyone ever play that Ghost Hunter game on PS2? Yeah, that's one of those, like, so obscure games that was actually really good for its time. But almost no one bothered playing it, or even even heard of it. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, you did? Yeah, I'm about to stream that at I some guess point. so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... Is didn't the expect Xbox 360 this. version you the same? Dr. I think Gray, so. Right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I How's do? How's a Stranger Things actor doing voice acting wise? Well, tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood. <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much. What's of the difference for. between armagnac and Having cognac? Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor, patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a side. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. They're from different regions of okay. France, what you Philistine. You you, I don't know Jeremy. about drinks because I don't drink. Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is That's an anxious I was asking, man, I was curious. constantly worried about events not the presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. Is this guy they exists only in Carnaby's head. Now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. It's like our mind palace, maybe? Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. I mean, he just appeared out of nowhere when we like did the thing. We like walked through a glowing door. You walk across the hall, you can find Sebastian from Evil Within. <laughs> Detective Carnby, how did you... where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do 
You want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to I want to try something else. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's the? where I need to go. Poppy? No, that's Did only I Spanish think... I know. I'm sorry. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. So, I'm getting the really feeling that I will have to play through this game twice, as both once as each character, because they seem like they have diverging paths to it. Ognac is made with one type of grape. Ognac is made me with like ten. French Quarter in the blink of an eye. Mm. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he yeah, can do I've it, for those so of you who don't I. know, I've never really been much of a drinker. How the I have like works. a drink every once in a while. That, 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 but I, I practically still pretty ignorant when it comes to them. Never really like y'all got into it. Well, this depicts a pretty dark scene. Arrival of the Union, Captain. Also probably a pretty dark scene. You play as Emily, it's pretty much the same cut scene, but the characters are... Fl oh, okay, never mind. Then maybe I only had to play it through once. I was getting a little worried there. Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Resident Jank. Yeah, Lottie there is some Jank, but well I kind of figured the there was going to be Jank in this game. Like, literally, the trailers for this game. Almost never showed a stable frame rate. When they can't even get a stable frame rate in the trailers for their video, their video game, you know it's not gonna be like you know, smooth running. They got it to an acceptable area, like yeah, we can ship it now. <laughs> Take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. I've seen it. You can wash down that well. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, I'm pretty Elizabeth sure in the original Rose, game, it didn't really have Ray a bunch Saunders, of characters who lived in the mansion, course, did it? Cassandra it's just mainly a bunch of monsters. Live on the second floor. Yeah, so they, they've expended upon it. Ah, oh, the room key. Gotta eat dinner. Hey, have a good one. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. You never played the first two? I've, I've seen like playthroughs of them, but it's been a while. I, mean, I think it was like Red Supre I watched play through it. I need the key. For a ten I'll watch Retsu Prey, watch a re Let's Play. Uh, okay. Got a Lord of Shock test. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. 
Cassandra suffers from a writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests hey, should we come up with a Cassandra's less wordy name for these moving picture, picture things? Her back and risks ruining her career. And how should we summarize her personal history? Introduction to the Lone in the Dark was a new nightmare. Was that the one on Dreamcast? Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. And for that diagnostic makes monster six. Oh, that one. Cassandra I know there's one on Dreamcast. Back pain following her suicide that attempt. plays more like a Resident she Evil game. She self-administers morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind, and she is unable to focus on. Is this a re-release? No, this is like a complete, like reimagining and remake of the original Alone in the Dark game. Gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Like the original one was released in like Bravo, on MS DOS. How will you treat her? It's like the one of first the first of all, like actual horror games. Drug so it's got a legacy. It's just the problem with Lone in the Dark games. They've never really been that good. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. Hmm. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Personal okay, history. that's concerning. Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental her guidance. Older sister had the original. We can you and a bunch of your cousins started playing it and never got past Thank the opening. Because you, you didn't know it was a horror game. Even if you'd known it was a horror game, you probably wouldn't have gotten far. That game was up to as hell. Uh, she. Malcolm McCarthy. Speaking of years obtuse, of age, what's the most obtuse console any of you have ever owned? McCarthy admitted like, do we have any like Atari Deceto, Jaguar or 3D owners in chat? Some damn Someone who owns this like a true piece of shit. History. That is like McCarthy now looked down upon and laughed at and ridiculed. I remember as a kid, I, there was a time where I was like, man, this Atari Jaguar looks pretty cool, that alien predator. Except for the occasional clue you had a virtual boy? Okay, that, that's a contender right there. And like I said, that was a good console, it just didn't McCarthy sell well. Is an anxious man and an alcoholic. You had a TurboGrafx-16. Wasn't that just the PC engine, PC but by a different name? Like, that was a big, successful people. console, especially in Japan. And how will you treat that? Sega CD, McCarthy that one definitely counts. Time to open up. Spending time with Jack's uh, dog with your child cousins had a ColecoVision. I don't know if that was a bad console. I think that was just an old trust. console. That came from, like, Thank a time when there was a lot more competition. From, like, toy manufacturers and shit. Swag Genesis. I had a Sega Genesis. Uh, 3DO, yeah. 3DO and Atari Jaguar are, like, usually seen as, like, the worst pieces of shit you could ever, like, be gifted. Like, if your parents got you one of those, you, like, will hate them later on. Uh, but, uh, you had it, but, uh, I, I've only ever played a Virtual Boy once when I was, like, a wee little kid. I went into, like, a, a shopping center and they had one on as a demo that you could play. I think it had, like, the Wario game on it. Dreamcast? Uh, the Dreamcast is not a bad console. That's actually like a cult classic console now. It just was another one of those that didn't succeed. And I actually own a Dreamcast right now. I'm going to mod the hell out of it. And I might even stream my modding of it because it could be interesting. Elisabetta Perosi, 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? You know what gaming well, thing I liked when Perosi I was a broke contentious? I loved the Lego Dimensions the toys to life game. She was, she was fired. I'm tired of pretending. I don't think I ever amnesia. even know anything about it. She insisted she belonged. You like Dreamcast? Pretty much everyone who ever played Dreamcast stayed. liked it. Right. They just let it yell. It was like it, it got blown out of the Perosi water by the PS2. To have been a member of the Not having a DVD drive on it probably sealed its fate. 
A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story Play Skies is of Arcadia. Untrue. That is one I've always kind of wanted so to play. I've always heard the GameCube version, though, is slightly better because they adjusted, like, the been... random battle rate. Perosi's story is peculiar because she retracted Does the PSP count? The that is a handheld, comedy. but wasn't she that a no success, though? To be the same person as I know Elizabeth it was pretty, Perosi. like, decent. It was definitely However, never, like, played as well as, like, there was Nintendo's handhelds, but it continued for a little bit. was in her early 30s. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. Well, he's a life game How and got a shit go ton it? of infamously famous people to be in it. The real Perosi, hmm. But it seems the whole Commodore had a series of terrible con. That was like a PC though, right? The Commodore 64. Uh, a lot of people love the Commodore 64. I always I hear like people who like had one. It's usually Europeans, like Brits, who are like big Commodore 64 stands. Well, sure but they'll usually like talk up like, oh man, that was a gold, true you, golden yeah. era right there. <laughs> Commodore 64 dreams. What about the Vita? That's one of those ones that just came and went, and I kind of even forgot it existed. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Uh, Ruth's father wishes that his things about old plug-and-play consoles. I've never played any of them. Life for the foreseeable future. He fears like I guess the only thing I got that could be considered plug-and-play is I have a Nintendo Super Nintendo Mini. Sounds simple enough. Personal history. Ruth comes from but that's pretty considerable good. wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper. A debauched flapper. on nymphomania. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Isn't that a fake person? illness, by the way, the whole nymphomania thing? Frivolous reasons for like, oh, yeah, she clearly suffers from nymphomania. This girl fucks. Interesting case. Like, oh, she, she's, she's got the... She's got the, the and doesn't shy she's got the nymphomania. Her life during the war or her Not a good Christian woman. ...celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dosetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for yeah, her Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like not considered an illness now. Like, you change, like sex? You must be mentally ill. Might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. Hysteria, yeah, it's like she's got the hysteria. The Let me use my medically, like, try to be more like literally for like for women who are hysteria, the you know the the doctor had to get them off sometimes. Like, oh, another another patient with hysteria, I see. And you know, get on the table. <clears throat> like, oh, yes, it's, it's a living. Uh, sex addiction, yes, but it wasn't actually sex addiction. It was like any woman who enjoyed sex was like a nimbo maniac because you know. There was a period in time where it's believed women didn't, you know, couldn't even enjoy such a thing. And it's like, yo, good Christian women are supposed to cry and like, you know, ask for forgiveness when they're doing the deed. Looks like all the patients are accounted for. What's up, Hosky? How you doing, man? Hmm, we read all the notes? I think we have. Hmm. I need the key. Vibrator was invented to be a doctor's tool. Yep. Doctors really just gave them an excuse to like get their patients off and like, yeah, you, you, got, you got an issue. I can, I can help you with that though. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Took today off so I can stay home and watch stream. Really? Well, thank you. I mean, hopefully you're not losing out on money though. But hey, appreciate it though. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing that Stellar Blade game, I believe, if the demo comes out. That should be pretty entertaining, I feel. That's, I feel like that's the next big game everyone's excited for. Where am I going now? I think we're supposed to go to the boiler and fix that, right?
lot of buttons to... One more common was a hysterectomy, actually. Removal of the reproductive organs. Okay, that's getting bad. That's not a good thing. It's like getting a lobotomy, only like, you know, well... Actually, it's very similar to getting a lobotomy, only for like, the, you know, your other brain. You like sex? Time to make sure you can't do that anymore. I'm not gonna walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her. Stop! Uncle. Don't open that door. Yeah, that leads back that way, which I don't think we need to go. This area was named after the hysterectomy and its most recognized medical solution. Oh, it's gonna you know, modern art chat. This is beginning to feel like we're in the house from Beetlejuice, and these are gonna come to life at some point. Oh. This has not been childproof, like you don't want to bring your newborn into this place. Stained. Looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Hmm. You know, wish everyone a good night. Bleeping God, you have a good night, man. You need to learn how to post comments? You're good, man. You're right there. I see you. You're doing a good job, alright? Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man. I didn't name this stream Jeremy. Alone in the Dark, You're Slipping Man. Scratch I saved that one for tomorrow, or like the next time I play it. I'll scratch your one. Famous black, famous blues, uh, female blues singer, Ma Rainey, one singer, I got nipples. Oh, I've actually heard that song. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually, you can find that song on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. You got a bottle of Jaeger. I don't like that he's looking for a young girl. I just gotta point that out. Like, you're a very, I'm very intoxicated man. I'm looking for this young lady. I'm gonna raise some red flags. Here. Hmm. Emily's here. Emily's here. Have you heard about the Marvel Overwatch? Uh, I saw a trailer for it. It did not look good. <laughs> then again, I'm just not into that type of game anymore. I had my field Overwatch and I think I'm done with it. But it's so easy to get turned around in this game. Hello, Dardigan. Hey, Zakala, how you doing, man? Chill. Yeah, I'll take that pin. Anything not dealt down is mine. Doom 3 is more alone in the dark. 
Typically, you're never alone, though. There's always something there with you. Amazing stories. Yeah, there is far, far too many locked doors in this game. <laughs> Holy crap. Not everything needs to be like, okay, you're going to have to get a key for this one. I uh, forgot which Silent Hill it is, but the little girl remembered the protagonist's wife. That was Silent Hill too. Where the brats, well, you know, the brats like kicking the keys away from you. I don't know. And then locks you in a room with a monster at one point. Hmm. I need the key. Okay, I need more keys. Have you thought about streaming Resident Evil 7 in VR? I've thought about streaming Resident Evil 4 in VR because I do have the PlayStation VR headset. Uh, so that is doable. However, I would probably need to make that... Uh, I, w it, I wouldn't be able to read two chats while doing that because uh, the way you read chat in a VR game is like you have to like tie it to one of your hand motions and you pull it up and read it. So I would only be able to read one chat, so I would probably only stream it on one platform, so I wouldn't dual stream it. And since I've already streamed Resident Evil 4 Remake on Twitch, I'd probably make it like a YouTube exclusive stream if I did that. Alright, I guess we're going back down... Wasn't there like a stair... Yeah, we're going back downstairs. I need the key. Or not. This is this room, and this was, was over here. It was like that way. Hell, YouTube for the win. Okay, you don't get to go bragging about it. You, look, you brag about it, I'll like do it on Twitch. Like, it'll rub it in. Uh, I haven't even decided if I'll do that yet. Uh, wasn't there like a stairwell door right there? Let me go downstairs. I guess they locked everything since I came here room before. Let me go back this way. Oh, we need to put that ladder up. You know you love us? Well, I love everyone who, who like, share their time with me. Anyone who wants to like sit around and like watch my dumb ass play a video game is cool in my book. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Terry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern Where the hell is Evil Within 3? I don't think Evil Within 2 sold very well. That's, that probably explains your answer. It was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake, with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the Fuck us YouTubers era, ever, no, you're good, Desetto man, you're was good. the source of many rumors concerning... I was just joking about that, you like, you know, I'll make a twitch. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17th, 1862, no, I don't, I don't know. Norton I don't think Union Army with, with the way the Microsoft is going now, they own everything. Especially like everything Bethesda still made. Of I don't expect an evil within three. Slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and There is a little bit too much reading in this game. Well, listening, I guess. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning 
and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was Evil Den 2 was good. I don't know. Decades. It definitely had improvements over Evil Den 1, was long but the tone was so radically different, I just didn't like it as much. Like, the switch to like a mini open world, plus they got rid of most of the gore that the first game had tons and tons of. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. I don't know, I guess I kind of like the, the more schlocky nature of Inspector Evil Than One, of despite it having plenty of issues. In order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters, many were killed. So, Dorgan, how's the scary of the game? This game is not scary even remotely. Year, it's got a good atmosphere, but if you, this game, I would play this game expecting to be like, oh, you got me, video game. You scared the bejeebies out of me. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surroundings. The Evil Den was a horrible so game. It, it was wasn't no great. It had, it definitely had a lot of issues. I'm not, Instead, not, not saying it was like, house was turned into like I remember sitting colony. the hell out of that game. One of my very fir the first the early videos. Was a successful group of artists, but uh, you know, it had its moments. Such as painter Some of the Kassai character and enemy design was really good. Like that boss fight against like the creepy lady spider lady, that was exceptionally well done. Called the Pirates of Buncha Train. On September 29th, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana. Held us over until the Resident Evil game started coming back. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at due it. Due to the remote location of their settle. Holy crap, this is still almost going. almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The 12 residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain. With much of its temple facades intact, hmm. the Ledoux family currently has no this, At this point, this game is just like listening house. to Audible. Uh, which audiobook do we want to listen to today while we play the video game? You might want to bring back the jump scare star wipe during scene transitions for what, this game? So far, not a single jump scare. I don't think I'll be bringing back the Star Wipe Yo jump scare Yo sin anymore. Or at least not the Star Wipe skit Yo thing. It would, yeah, it's been too long. Hey, give me that. Ooh. Break glass take. No, does it work that way? Have a good stream. I will do. I will do so, Mike. We'll do so. This game was developed by Europeans, wasn't it? That's <laughs> for some reason. It definitely has that feeling of Euro jank. It's a very specific. Ah! Look, I just tried to open the door, alright? It's a little much for your security system. That's shit. Are we walking through tall? the point like he's what trying happened? to open the door hit him everything's normal again right. it's wedge shut to scare me and they failed <laughs>
Yeah, that's just a room I've been to before. Try that door again, but look at the bottom. One though that's wedged shut. No, it's like you, I guess you need a special tool to get rid of wedges. They got you for fifty dollars. What? For this game, hey, that's a tax write-off for me, buddy. So it's not as, it doesn't bite as much. I've I've spent money on games like yo, like trust me, I've I've bought some real pieces of shit. I'm hearing a radio wanna play. You ever watch John Oliver? Uh, every once in a while, but not. I don't really make a point of it. Well, I'll watch like a segment. Okay, let's see if we can kill bird. That definitely looked like a dead bird, but it doesn't exist anymore. It just like exploded into feathers. Mummified, uh, mummified cat. What the hell? Like, pick that up. Hmm. God knows. Follow the garden who shot. But first, put this up. War is hard to nail because you need to establish danger as well as tension. You can't have no danger for Got too it. long because eventually it just jump scares and random bloody floors or walls. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, you know, establishment of it, I think. What a horse. Okay. You have to also horror requires I think a good horror game. Above uh, every game requires good pacing, but I feel like a horror game above all other genres requires the tightest of pacing for it to actually work. And if you have sloppy pacing in a horror game, it just like destroys any chance of it being good, or even like calling itself a good horror game, anyways. Okay, so we're gonna flood that open once we find the valve. Okay, there's something in there. Could be a cat, right? Come here, little kitty. Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> Hold up, this shadow doesn't make any sense. What's causing the shadow here? This barrel is like... It's got no top to it. It's just like an amorphous blob of darkness. With a pair of eyes. Jank guy, yeah, I know, but you know what? I still got to point it out. I mean, I'm literally shining my light on it. If it's a shadow, it should no longer be shadowed. I got a flashlight on this bitch. You want to attack me? No, you're just there to be creepy, aren't you? I think it's actually just an art project. Oh. 
picked up the broken plate. Do you mean art installation? Art project, art installation, both the same thing. Hmm, alright. Uh, I think we just go up this way and go put that in the clock piece. find room six. I'm assuming that's where the next one is at. Uh, can't get in there. Hmm. Things locked currently. This game needs a few dashes of pog on pog on pog. You know what? That was that's that's a franchise still owned by Nintendo that they will do nothing with, sadly. Is there a fight with a mutated chicken like in the original? So far we've only fought like a worm thing and regular like zombie like like plant zombies. No mutated chickens yet, I'm afraid. Eternal Darkness stream? Well, I've already played Eternal Darkness on stream a couple of years ago. But if I wanted to do a video on it, I'd need to record it, because I didn't record it back then. Would make for a pretty good Classic Sins video, wouldn't it? Plombies? Now that that is like an adorable name, and I applaud you for coming up with it. A plomby. No, 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 an herby. An herby. Like, it's herbal? No, it's worse. Clearly worse than plomby. What is that about Eternal Darkness? It is another Lovecraftian-inspired game, but it's... It's more... It definitely takes a more, like, Lovecraftian, like, writing style, because you, like, uh, you play as several characters throughout history, as they each, like, had to, like, battle against this, like, evil force some of them even like dying along the way mm. and uh okay. bench all just to help like the person in the you know the main you know modern times defeat it finally and then you know pretty good game overall also has a skeleton roman <laughs> that too meant the camera icon where you were next to the bear oh i didn't even notice that no sir have a good night man have a good night where am I on the map, by the way? Okay, so I can't get into the... Can't get over there, can I? Yeah, this is locked. I didn't see anything on the, on the bear. I think you were just seeing things. All right. So I think I need to go back to the boiler room. Icon is green, you have the item. To, yeah, but I... Like the... That's what I was looking for. Like, uh... Like I need to get over here, but I need to find the way to get over there because the ways to it are locked. 
Like, the only way through it is, like, there's, like, a secret room right there, I guess, that gets you into the gallery and out to it. I'm not really sure where that is. But, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I could just jump off the side of the gallery. room did I miss in here? You know, hitting the M key should bring up the map. I shouldn't have to go into, like, hit I first. Okay, maybe I just missed that one. I'm blind. Alright, I admit it. Huh. How eccentric. Artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. What would modern day eternal darkness sanity effects be? Detecting you were streaming and pretending. No, no, you could take it even further. Uh, you could have it like. Uh, you could. Well, it would require you to like do some stuff that's super obvious, but if you really wanted to drive people crazy these days, you'd like have to like enter your like. Your, tw your uh, Twitter handle. And then it would like tweet at you. Or something, I don't know. Something stupid and like that. I mean, it, the sending effects wouldn't really work these days. Because modern TVs don't even work that way that they did when Eternal Darkness came out. Yeah, that, that's just one of those kind of games of its time. Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. What's good? What's up, Best Spaghetti? How sure you doing, man? Is still able to the Turn your web. The there actually room. is a game that I Not think will long. do some will stuff with your computer. Goat. There's a couple of games that will mess with your computer out there. Black goat will be there is one that even gives you a warning that it'll display files then it will uh, from your computer that it can find. No more. It has like a dedicated like, and like, hey, do you sure you want to play this on a stream? Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake. A new Eternal Until Darkness would have a single dead pixel on this screen. Just a messy... Oh, that's evil. That is fucking evil. You... You... Not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. Ain't letting you get away with that one. You go back to the abyss where you came from. Heard so much about this game, but haven't seen much feedback. How am I like? Atmosphere is good. However, it is a very slow-paced game. Uh, you do a lot of reading and investigating and stuff like that because, you know what? That's what European devs like to do in these type of games. Uh, so far, I think I've only killed like three or four enemies in the game. And I don't think it's going to change. But you know what? Atmosphere is pretty solid. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. <laughs> Press tab to zoom in on the books. I didn't, you know, I'm still looking around, don't worry. Is this David Hayter? No, this is the, the detective cop guy from Stranger Things. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Voice acting seems the point. Yeah, voice acting has been pretty stellar so far. That guy even said the cl the proper way of saying "ool" in like southern, 
It's that oil, it's ore. That ore rig. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Hmm. Complete the shape with the rot paintings. Okay, the game just straight up told me how to do this one. Okay, Jank, stop it. I'm trying to, like, click this properly. Thank you. No, I'm look mm, looking at that one. Yeah, that, this seems right to me, but maybe it isn't. <clears throat> Magical sound effects. Did that actually do anything for me? Can you only flip, not rearrange? No. Well, I've already completed it, but I don't know what it did for me. A sculpture on the table is called a pieta. This has no relation to the puzzle. Just wanted to, you know, yep. plastic or formal vault. Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess these are the names I need. William Argus. Two. I'm guessing I need this for my code or something. Franklin Musig and Nora Keith. Franklin and Nora. Alright. So this is 294. This doesn't have numbers on it. Hmm. Why don't you act like a tree and get out of here? Because I need to solve the puzzle, that's why. If I can even solve it. I think I might need like a way to like translate those numbers and check the journal you just picked up. Uh, which one was that? Okay, okay. I think this is it, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Okay, so two would be the circle with a little U on it. One, two. It was six to nine is four. Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so we need um, circle with U, 
boat anchor like thing 69 circle you boat anchor 69 circle you boat anchor 69 Does this one not have it? That must be wrong then. Press tab to zoom in. Tab does not zoom in. Unless you mean like that, but I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Oh, yeah, I know I, know I need the thing in there. I already saw that. Uh, but I need to get this open. On the book? What about it? Good morning. What's up, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, the journal? Uh... Wait. Oh, okay, wait. This is one? Hold up. Okay, that's so weird that it started. Okay, that, this. Okay, I was reading from up here. All right, one. All right, so what was it? It was like 249, right? Okay, so I need like W. You know, well, double U's, I mean. One, two, three, four. And we need the U with line. Yeah, I still need that one, but that'll be the one on the bottom. All right, so. Double <sighs> U's, circle with U. And U with line. Double U's. Okay. Okay. Two or two boomerangs and then you'll know, circle onk. Something like that. Shit. These are harder to remember. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this one, because I remember this one. This and this one was. This one, right? There we go. We solved puzzle. Now we can activate big mystic claw. Huh? Hmm. The Baja blast chamber, I see. Excellent. I want to lick the walls. Chat, when did we all decide that, like, sudden string instruments are, like, the true essence of horror? Hey, do I shoot them or what? I don't really have enough bullets for shooting. Just walk around. Hey, you literally see the worm pile appear on the ground before the like the animation of the stuff falling under the ground. <laughs> that all in my head, or was that real? Oh, it's illusion. I guess they are trying to be a little authentic to the original game, because the original game did have weird moments like that where it would just spring stuff on you, didn't it? So I guess I guess you gotta give them a little bit of credit for like, you know what, we're just gonna like spring random weird stuff on the player. I think I've seen this somewhere. Uh X and Z. Oh. Okay, I think the journal probably had like an image on it, right? One of them did, maybe?
Hmm. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Something in the commonplace book about this. Shush game. Shush. <laughs> and that feels correct to me. But I guess then like maybe maybe it needs to be like, you know in a different like alignment, but it's all lined up with each other. Maybe it needs to be pointed in a different direction. Right, let me look at the journal. Look at uh, which journal though was it? Okay, uh, there, there's a drawing of it. Uh, so the little medallion goes in the upper right. Isn't that how I have it though? Game is calling you dumb. Every game secretly calls you dumb. That's why they put the yellow paint everywhere. So yeah, that that's what we gotta do here. And so big circle thing, cracks going. That's what I have though. Hmm. No, I have it perfectly, unless I just need, like, these one specific corners in different spots. Oh, yeah, I see there's blood on this one. No, still not right. Okay, maybe this one goes up there. There we are. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Hmm. Old man darting was never good. <laughs> Come on, I, you know what? I my always my preference are physics puzzles, man. Physics puzzle. Everyone prefers a good physics puzzle. Anything else? All right. Uh. So the time. Uh, I see three, five, eight, circled over there. Hmm. <sighs> There's like what with a big image with a sun in it, and then you got this. Three fire bridge. I don't think I can even manipulate this right now, though. Hmm. Oh.
Maybe I, did I, I already use that one, didn't I? The first time I did it. Uh, maybe it's whatever this is. No, that I've already done that puzzle, didn't I? Or didn't I? Would I like a clue? I don't know, maybe. Because I was thinking maybe this first, but I think I already did that one. Check the clock above my head. Oh, oh. I thought I had to move this or something. So it's six, it's three, okay. Three, okay, one, two, three, four, six. Oh, wait, I got the wrong, wrong order. Okay, the smallest dial is three. The middle dial is four. And the big one is a six. Okay, okay. This is the middle dial. There we go. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. That away, says the camera. <laughs> that away, shows the camera. That's where it just came from as well. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. I mean, hey, we gotta go through the hallway. the fuck off. Best horror line in any movie ever. I am the key master. Are you the... Th huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Are you not surprised by that? <laughs> I don't think I can ever say the line like I've entered another one of Jeremy's memories and not be completely freaked out. This guy is taking this weird supernatural stuff very well, I gotta say. Eh, yeah, there's entered a paraphysical dimension that reflects a person's memories. I don't want to look in Jeremy's mound, which is what the game just directed me to do. Ghostbusters? Yeah, Ghostbusters is like a movie I think everyone needs to watch. Ugh. And not these new Ghostbuster crap. You know, only go to like, there's only one Ghostbuster movie, Chad. The original. The only one you need. Bustin, 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 bustin makes me feel good. I've, I've mentioned before that you don't realize it when you watch that movie as a kid. Uh, but there was a ghost blowjob scene in that movie. <laughs> and it, it's like when you watch it as an adult, you're like, oh my god, how did I miss this? Why, why is it pulling down his zipper? You remember that? Yeah, you do now. But when you're a kid, you're like, aha, he's making funny faces. I need the key. May 1923. Money. But, Dan, but that's also a true story. Dan Aykroyd delivery. believes he had a sex with a ghost once. He's mentioned that before. He's like, oh, I had a sexual experience with a ghost. And he put it into the movie. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Your dad Maybe. pointed out for you? That had to be awkward. Close to broken. 
Wednesday. I don't think I'd want to learn about blowjobs from like a ghost scene so in a Ghostbusters movie from my dad. Painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Oh, would you like some crystal head Thursday. vodka? Very smooth. Got a wonderful glass skull bottle for you to like put on yourself. Look very nice. The Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. You know, I gotta give it to Dan Aykroyd, though. I bet he's, like, living the dream now that he gets to be in Ghostbusters again after all these years. That's been, like, the sole thing he cared about since the 80s was getting more Ghostbusters movies. This is the devil that guides us now. Scary Movie 2 had insane one. Uh, what, Ghost Blowjob? How many other movies had Ghost Blowjobs? Is this like a thing we need to go search down and find out? Huh. Huh. Did you ever play Leisure Suit Larry Point and Click game? I've never played any of those. I almost ended up playing the one that came out on PS2, but I never played that one either. This I, one, I'm not into point and click adventure games, uh, so they never really appealed to me. And by that point, if I really wanted nudity, like raunchy sex comedy, I could find it in better forms. Did you know that Suicide Squad Joker DLC is out? Is that important in any way? But yeah, I know it's out. Like, is anyone still playing that game? Like, oh, yes, finally, the Joker. Now the game can really thrive. Mm. I need the key. And most people don't even consider it the Joker. It's like this bad, like, Joker at home kind of thing. We have the Jonkler. Ghostbusters was never a sentimental movie, so why do they try to make it? I mean, I, I feel like that's a very important movie for a lot of people because it is that good of a movie. However, they never really needed more than the one. Every sen They'll never be able to like replicate the feel of the first movie in any way because it's, it doesn't need a sequel. We getting spooky over there? I don't know if I consider this spooky. Locked. It's trying its best, but I ain't finding it spooky. There's something missing. Ghostbusters did have a cartoon, though. Uh, I, I sort of kind of remember the cartoon. Like, it's called the real Ghostbusters or something. And Slimer was like the mascot for some reason. And it had like the dude from Garfield voicing one of the characters, I think. Them gators in docks what those what gators yet yeah. gators. How does this guy heal himself by drinking whiskey? By the way, I think he's just like pretending he's getting better when he like what when he like takes a swig from the flask. But it's like actually, how's that gonna heal all the wounds? <laughs> We're just numbing the pain. Hmm. <clears throat> New Robocop game is amazing. From I played through it actually. It was pretty good. Solid double A game from what it is. I hope that developer gets the Total Recall franchise next and makes what game. Because you know what? Total Recall I don't think has ever had a good game. It only has one legendarily bad game on the NES. And I think they could do it justice. They would definitely have the three boob scene in there. <laughs> the legendary scene. Do we need a glass of water? Uh, yeah, I should be fine. Streaming, you know, the hardest job there is. Takes a lot out of you.
I'm gonna need like a key counter for this game because it is getting up there. It is getting way up there. It's like there's maybe a bit too much of that. This is reaching like doom levels of like you need a key card for this door. Uh, don't I have a hatchet? Does it get rid of my current melee weapon if I pick up another one? And I, or do I like store them, I'm, like constantly switching between them? Nope, you can only have one, so I'll keep my axe. Keep the axe. DC's really pushing that Jared Leto version of Joe. I don't. Even, I think the Jared Jared Leto version is way better than whatever the yo this one is. Uh, the bridge lever. <sighs> Got it. But it seems like anything you know connected to Suicide Squad is always just inherently worse. Zombie gators, chat. They, they know in these parts. Hey, can you get this, like, thing about throwing things off my screen game? I kind of know how the mechanic works now. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. your arms to throw something and you can use them to hug your significant other who you love very much i highly recommend that you can use your arms for violence chat or you can use them for love choose wisely choose wisely well those which way western man memes only like in a positive sight <laughs> Why not violence and love? Only with consent, all right? Only with, only if they say okay to that. Is Chadley here in this game? We might be able to finally kill him off for good if he is. Oh, Edward, I see you're not in a Final Fantasy VII game with my friend Cloud. That, that's okay. I don't hold you against you. Would you like to help me make some materia? I would love to, like, study these Lovecraftian entities. <laughs> Owies. So thank you for the 100 bits, Lucky. I really do think that Lucky, I mean, uh, uh, that uh, Chadley, is like, a thing, is like a thing that could appear in any video game as like, just like a way of ruining the, the mood. <laughs> Like, you could put that guy in, like, a Devil May Cry game. He's like, oh, Dante. Wonderful to see you here, old friend. You know, this this Mundus character sure is frightening. Perhaps you need new materia to strengthen yourself before you engage him in final battle. Also, just me or these, like, zombie gators, they, like, go down like paper mache. <laughs> Dante would walk away. I don't know. Dante likes kids, right? I mean, if he offers up a good enough piece of material, Dante will take that shit. And do like a Michael Jackson dance while he does it. Which, when I think about it, is exactly what Red 13 did. Yeah, I've been told I'll need the shovel. Good for burying the bodies.
terrifying idea, Chad. But do you think Chadley? But do you think Chadley will ever grow up and become like an actual like adult? Or is he like stuck in that like weird kid's body? Like, is he gonna get like a super deep voice one day? Like, oh yeah, Cloud, what's up? <laughs> oh man, I, I want to help you make some material today. Afterwards, we can get some br some brews, man. <laughs> Like, hey, Cloud, you want to go drinking after this? I'm of age now. Hmm. Okay, they're giving me a lot of melee weapons, but there's not really much else going on here. Bath time. Weak. Hey, have I a good one. To break. Oh shit. Okay, it hasn't hurt us. We can rob this place. Does Dragon Tog Matua Rise of Ronin if you could only have one? Uh, honestly, if you're making me choose between the two, I'll play. I'll choose the one that actually seems to play properly, which is not Dragon's Dogma 2 at this point in time. Need milk with your cookies? What kind of cookies are we talking about? Say, what kind of cookies are we speaking about here? It's vital information. I applaud you having the proper, like, you know, knowledge how to like properly eat a cookie as well. People who eat like cookies without without a milk, uh, uh, they ain't friends of mine. Not friends of mine. That was a lot of pointlessness. Somehow Wesker returned. Eh, uh, they well, he's look, we have Wesker again in the remakes, but I don't need him coming back from whatever happened to him in five. You're pretty dead once you get dropped in a volcano and then hit with like two rockets, alright? That should be acceptable, like you don't come back from kind of death. Good night, Dart. Hey, blue dude, you have a good night, man. And thanks for being here. Uh, it's one of the old man Dardigans. That's like the end of the last crusade. You need to eat the cookie correctly. <laughs> Who's wisely? He chose poorly. I mean, I will judge you over the type of cookie. Chocolate chip, S tier. Uh, then goes down from there like chocolate chip with macadamia nut or pecan, S plus tier. I, I, if you, chat, I can't eat a snickerdoodle. I will vomit if I get near a snickerdoodle. I had to eat a bunch of snickerdoodles once, and I was like, just to finish them off, and now I literally, I cannot even smell a snickerdoodle without getting ill. It's like, a, oh, hello, hello, ma'am. Sorry is being naughty. No, you never have to apologize for being naughty. 
Ah, cool. That was in here. Hmm. We've never eaten a snickerdoodle. It's really just like a, a sugar cookie with a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I, like, had a bunch of them that I made, like, last year, and I had to finish them off before they went bad. So I had, like, to eat, like, seven or eight of them in, like, a couple hours, and I was, like, I was... I had to force-feed myself, basically. I was, like, I was really, like, oh, I don't want to go to waste. But, uh, I will never be able to, like, touch another one. Sounds rough. It was, you know, it's weird. Any other cookie, I could, like, eat tons of them. Like, you, you asked me to eat, like, eight or nine chocolate chip cookies, I will scarf those down. But for some reason, the snickerdoodles, they, they did me wrong. They did me wrong. Alright, uh, let's see. We go here next. We do need to go over there. That's where the, the thing is at. Let's check this one. Uh, that's all a snickerdoodle is. Sugar and cinnamon, I'm disappointed. Well, that and, like, eggs and batter. But, uh, yeah, it's primarily just a sugar cookie. However, another good type of cookie is cinnamon toast crunch, mm. uh, treat. Basically, like, instead of, like, a marshmallow treat, uh, like, a, or a snap crackle treat, you know, the ones with Rice Krispie treats, it's, like, made with cinnamon toast crunch instead. Excellent day. Excellent day. Like information here. No, we're just getting emerald. Also, like nuts in my cookies. Yep. Like white macadamia, like macadamia pecan, or like goaded. I don't know why I'm sneaking. These things only take two shots to go down. They're not that tough. Combat doesn't seem too anxiety-inducing. It's not. However, I do hear, I do feel the I hear I've heard in reviews the game does get hard later on, as they can put you up against a lot of enemies. Oh shit. Macadamia nuts are good. Pistachios are good too. But I usually put those into like my, my smoothies. Now I don't have to sneak anymore. Well, 
like pineapple on pizza? Brave statements tonight. I, I'll be honest, I don't really like pineapple much on anything. I don't like eating a fruit that eats me at the same time, chat. I don't know why people like want to eat, do that. Oh. Is that supposed to... I should probably move. Do I have an emote for this or what? Everything's on fire. Well, you know, that's the state of the world right now. Tough cloth. The pineapple pizza comment? Oh, well, you, you think I'm really gonna have a pineapple pizza emote? Yeah, come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? What do you think of David Harbour's best role? This guy? Uh, probably Stranger Things. That's honestly the only thing I know him from, if I'm, be if I'm being clear with you. I played another game <clears throat> set in Louisiana not too long ago called Norco. That was honestly very good for what it was. It's very trippy and weird, but I kind of recommend it. Anyone wants like a simple game to play, it's all plot based. Uh, once again, it's called Norco. It's my thumbs up. Oh, we got any here waters. Oh shit. The big one, is it? I'm gonna assume maybe it's blind because it didn't seem like it saw me there. This exact spot forever. Are you kidding? This is a swamp, man. The bugs eat you alive. That's scarier than that thing. There's also apparently a burial ground. Seems like you need to stealth. Well, hey, it's gonna be hard to stealth if it keeps it's dropping frames like that. Jeremy talked about in his book. We have ourselves an Indian burial mound here. Thing out of my face who are you what are you doing here i'm just a detective trying to find something called tarawea you're after jeremy too why i'm working for his niece she wants to make sure he's all right he might be unharmed but far from all right he's a curse upon deseto oh, here we go again quiet Convenient. Oh, Christ in heaven.
I have that shotgun now. We're gonna probably need that. <laughs> Thank you for the pallet knife. <laughs> I didn't know I went all the way there for that. Tinted for painting, but it's thin enough to slide through the crowd. This is why you use to get rid of those door jams, I think. Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts by Juan Luis Jorge To act is in itself divine. No dead black character. Even hey, we're living in 2024, man. That, that's an old trope. Soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote. Stranger Things was okay. It was, the first season was great. Comfort. Every season that followed it got worse True and worse. Divinity is found in the third one was the worst season of it. Like the weird, like, hey, what if we have like Soviets in like under a, under the mall? Will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, so people are already are saying that this that year's storm, Game of the Year will be either go to that that Rebirth or Hell Divers 2. Beyond that fear. I mean, those will definitely be contenders. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and but we still got a lot of year left. Let's not you'll get too excited for what it is. Or predestined. And let's be honest, no there one really actually cares about Game of the Year, the Game Awards. It it's just there for trailers. I mean, I've never really... This isn't some banal I will never just like, oh, that was the Game of the Year or 2020. That's not how I will think of any of these games. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. <sighs> Have you watched Invincible, uh, made by The Walking Dead? Uh, I've seen clips from it. I mean, I literally have an emote that is like, think, Mark, think. But I haven't watched the show. I only, I've only seen like clips of famous moments of it. I know it's in like second season right now. Sitting room key, usually. Ooh. Break the glass, you idiot. <laughs> you see the digital... Did you see the leaked digital only Xbox Series X? It's apparently supposed to come out another year. I mean, no one's buying an Xbox as it is. I don't see why that would encourage anyone to buy a, the, an Xbox at this point. Unless they're making it like so dirt cheap that it's like impossible not to buy it. Like here's a $200 console. Maybe then. Because they're not giving you a compelling reason to buy an Xbox anyways. Okay, so we can get into the drawing room now. This is what? Wrong room. You know, I actually don't know a single person who owns, like, an Xbox Series X and when I think about it. It just has never come up. I've never actually seen one outside of, like, behind the store, outside of a store. It's wedged shut. It worked. Okay, game. I don't think I needed a special tool to do that if it's just wet. Come on, anything would have worked. <laughs> Anything would have gotten that out of there. Last time I will ping you, have you... Oh, I'm sorry I missed your pings earlier, man. Uh, ha, uh, have you watched Invincible? Okay, then I have... Uh, last time I will ping you. Have you seen everything, everywhere, all at once? I have not, but I did hear it was good. Uh, I just... I, I heard it... It was the one that won all the awards last year, right? Uh, but no, I have not seen it. It's also directed by the you know, short round from Temple of Doom as well. Only Xbox worth owning is the Xbox Series S. It's essentially a mini Game Pass machine. But you can play Game Pass on your PC if you have one of those. You don't need a Xbox hardware for that. Uh, but, yeah, that, I don't know. Honestly, two gener- When you think about it, chat. When you think about the history of video game consoles. You really only get to have two failed consoles in a row before- Well, sometimes it's just one is enough. But- at this point in time, the only if you have like two failed consoles in a row, that's usually the end of your like console business. It happened to Sega, happened to Atari. Uh, it, but uh, I don't know. They they've had the Xbox One and now the Series X that have both been flops, and they seem like they're trying to transition out of like making hardware into like becoming just like a Game Pass machine. 
and also putting their games on other, you know, on, even on the PS5, no doubt, no less. I do think this is probably like Microsoft's last console generation. I don't know, they might like try to make a third. They got enough money for it. But I don't see any way they can correct at this point because I can't think of a compelling reason, one even one compelling reason to own an Xbox anymore. And this is coming from, I love my Xbox 360. I, I, I actually didn't even bother buying a PS3. But they have just completely, it's hard, it's actually incredible to think about that they had they came out of that Xbox 360 so strong. One mistake cost them, well, totally more than one. Uh, the big mistake, the whole Kinect thing, making that the Xbox One's like big thing, and they had to like walk back from that. But they also screwed up and they let a bunch of like the stuff, like the exclusives they had going for them, uh, just evaporate. They didn't even like try to keep them around. And then they screwed up what, what exclusives they had left. Your blocker thing was on par with the red tape from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> yeah, well, yellow tape, but I get you. Xbox isn't really failing in the console business. They just have bad management. They need to make more unique exclusives. Well, yeah, but that takes time. Like, AAA exclusives, That's you're looking at like a four to even six year development for like one game. Now, they own a lot of studios, but they've only bought them over the past like two to three years. So you still won't probably see any like thing, anything to come out of them until like their next console at the least now because it doesn't seem why would you like i would cons i think the xbox series x is pretty much considered a flop there's no saving it so why would you like release like a whole bevy of like new exclusive triple a games on it that they then have to buy I'm, I'm pretty sure this is their logic as well that's why they're focusing on p pc and even like ps5 now as well like if we're gonna make these things we need to release them on hardware people actually own uh so and, you know, the industry is also going through an era where they're, like, firing everyone, so there'll be less people to work on games. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I just don't see Xbox being in the game much longer. In, like, okay, in a hardware way. Hmm. Ironically, part of the reason I can't recommend an Xbox is because hey, it's better to have a PC than an Xbox. And you get to play all of them day one anyways. And so that was a good decision for the market to like release their exclusives day one, but it was a horrible decision for like their their brand, because now like oh yeah, like you kind of do need a compelling reason to go out and buy your unique hardware for like playing video games on. Xbox abandoned most of their unique. Yeah, they like let EA buy Bioware. They like the only thing they seemed like they were interested in keeping was Gears of War, and that was already used up by the time they bought it. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. Remember Scalebound? Oh yeah, the Platinum the Dragon game they canceled. Simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust but the But I'll be honest with you, I don't think Scalebound ever looked very good. This it always looked kind of shit. while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Hmm. Dog collar, huh? Okay, we got a full thing. I'm not sure what that does for me. Unlocks the shotgun cabinet. Wait, this. Wait, why would this unlock the shotgun cabinet? Rubber stamp. Dog collar pin. That unlocks. You know. Okay, whatever. What's this? I don't, uh, I don't get it. How does that unlock the shotgun cabinet? It just now does magically. <laughs> How do I switch between weapons? Uh, D-pad? There's no D-pad here, though. Uh... Arrow pad? No, arrow pad doesn't do it either. Interesting. I don't know how to switch to the shotgun. It thinks I'm playing on a controller. Okay, the audio is a bit busted and jank in this game. Is that supposed to keep playing, I think? I can't do anything with this. 
I know. Press number two key. Oh, that's jank right alone using a... Oh, well, I guess using num keys for switching weapons. It doesn't make sense. That's like old school, though. I feel like... I'm used to using like the scroll wheel for changing weapons at this point. All right. We now go where? Uh, let's see. We need to get up to the second floor. We also do something in the wine cellar now. During the Laganapes, there are certain sets that unlock different endings. They're called hidden objectives, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Have you ever played that Terminator Resistance made by the same people? I did play it briefly. I never finished it, though. I just didn't get into that one as much as, say, the Robocop game they made. got you who got godded <laughs> who got godded don't be ashamed just get the cheap scentless epsom salts from amazon or 99 cent store and add lavender essential oils and vanilla mm, nice smooth skin Done with the spook. We did the spook. <laughs> he still got scared opening the door. He's like, oh, oh, oh. Now, where am I? I? Need to go downstairs. straight take the left by the way now that you've unlocked the shotgun it's automatically unlocked for emily when you start a new game with her oh that's, that's a nice touch if i even play it with her. i don't know i don't know if i'll do that though but we'll see uh, okay we don't need to go that way What was the puzzle I can solve down here? You know, I just realized it's been a while since I saved. Let me fix that real quick. By the way, chat, I tried doing that. Uh, there's one more quest in FF7 that I didn't complete. That one where you do all the mini games and the gold saucer can't stop, won't stop. I've managed to do every one of his objectives except one. The battle arena uh, is, a, is the final section I haven't done. That dude pins you against an entire army of Tom Berries who just constantly just keep killing you. <laughs> He's just like, here, have a, fight a bunch of Tom Berries. So they're always like putting me to sleep and just like knifing me to death. This, this, guy, this, this guy was like, he deserves death. That is evil. Yeah, it's definitely evil. Hmm, can I stick my pallet knife in there as like a fuse, you know? And that's only not, not even the final battle, it's only like battle two of five, so I have to imagine like the three, four, and five are gonna be like even more evil. Like the first one is against two giant cactuars, which ain't too bad. 
But then he's like, oh, here, the next fight. You know, here's like a dozen tonberries. Oh, key switch. Have you uncovered the complete map with uh, the tiny Bronco? I have not bothered doing, getting back in the tiny Bronco, no. Because it's not that important. Ooh. It worked. Your last ping. Oh, you don't have to worry about it, man. You know, adding me is perfectly fine in a live stream. Uh, don't worry. It's like, yeah, don't worry about it. People at me all the time. I am a very popular person, you realize. I am used to it. I won't necessarily read your comment because I still might miss it because I'm focused on other things. So it's not a guarantee that I'll read your comment, but it doesn't annoy me if someone apps me. Just ask my Twitch chat, where like every other comment is usually someone adding me. <laughs> Can I turn the lights back on? No. If only you could raise an army of Tom Berries against several. You know what? I think at some point they need to make a Tom Berry a party member. Look, Kate Sith started out as an enemy in FF6 and then became like an actual ally in FF7. I demand a Tom Berry party member. Make that a thing in like Final Fantasy 17, all right? Have them be like this little murder monster that's also adorable, and they actually have lines and shit. It's like a, like a, it's like a, almost like an evil version of BB at that point. You have an interesting combat style. Can you can you swing your weapon, sir? Fine, shoot. He did not want to swing swing at all, did he? Which got me killed. Have you watched the first three episodes of X-Men 97? I have not. I do not have time for it right now. I am focused on making my you know, writing my FF7 script. That's gonna take it so much time that I can't really do anything else. So maybe once I've got the Patreon launched and also have that video wrapped up, then I might take a look at it. Yeah, we need to go to the boiler room now. Why wouldn't it let me, like, interact with this thing? Where I put the valve? Or not? I guess I put it right here. You want a Tom Berry girlfriend? You're so lucky. You want the Tom Berry girlfriend? You know what? I wish you luck on that. Have fun sleeping at night. Most, if not all, the original voice cast is back. That's what I heard. However, uh, I don't really remember most of their voices except for like Gambit's pretty decently. Well, no, Rogue had like that very like. Charming southern accent, like, sugar? <laughs> Come on, doll. I, I can't actually replicate it. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Jeremy? We found him. Hey, didn't I kill the lights in here? How's this one working? Oh, he's growing mushrooms or eyeballs. What is going on you know, you saute him with some butter. It'd be pretty good. Where's the body? Broken plate. Of course, the only other voice you'd recognize would be Southern. Well, I'm sorry, it's just she had like the most identifiable voice. <clears throat> I, I will say I did not understand Rogue's powers back in the original cartoon because she could like 
She was basically just Superman because she could like fly and like she was super strong, which didn't really seem like a mutant's powers to me. And that's because they weren't. She like stole them from Captain Marvel. And I was like, oh, okay. And I didn't know who that was either. It's so, like, who's Captain Marvel? Pieces of plate. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Hmm. Game is hella weird. Well, it's kind of meant to be. Alone in the, the original Alone in the Dark is also very... It's very cartoonishly weird, because there's like... You're getting... If you ever like you get a chance watch like a playthrough of someone playing the original game it's a little bizarre it's pretty goofy not gonna lie uh, let's see and yeah, we need to go up to the third floor now i mean the second floor grace is a little shit in emily's playthrough she doesn't like her <laughs> makes sense which way am I going? Uh, we'll continue upstairs. Is is it is just as cheesy as Resident Evil 1? Well, no. That game is like ultimate horror cheese for video games. I don't think you can out-cheese that unless you do it intentionally. Right, we can get it here now. It's wedge shot. It worked. He stabs her in the ass with a syringe. That's that bit goes beyond being a little shit, and that goes into assault. Let's see. Oh, it's the flapple lady. How are they getting around all these these this place with all the locked doors? Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. You look like you're hit by a Welcome bomb. You're covered in blood. House, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. <sighs> the truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss.
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to get from that. Ruth seemed like a handful. A talk about Jeremy and the dog. Find Deserto's boiler like mentioned in the common book. Something of importance. <laughs> I feel like you'd feel but right at home as a flapper girl in this time like period. You know, talking to Lucky. As I was saying, you mean me? Well, I, well, thank you. I'd be an excellent flapper girl. Like I said, she's missing one thing, and it's the giant, it's that really long cigarette holder that all proper Flappa girls would have had. That way you can be like a boss ass bitch while you smoke. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Or a Man, that'll hit. Hey, uh, shouldn't I be healed from drinking? Because that's what happens when I drink from my flask. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. You thought this game descended from Clock Tower? Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, Clock Tower is a Japanese developed game, actually. Lagging up. Bread. So bread plus rat poison plus needle equals what? What's with the classic get up? What do you mean what I'm wearing? Because we're, we're, we're from the classic era. This is like the 1930. period appropriate, you know? Alright, so... Let's see, we opened... a door into the hallway. We have a clue back in the sitting room we can now get into. Stairwell will lead up to the attic. Jump. We need a bread emote, but but what would you use it for? That woman is definitely supposed to be Rita Hayworth. She from the original game, or is that just a name I should know that I'm missing, like not placing? First poster Andy Dufresne uses. Oh, okay. Now I know who you're talking about. The medicine box key. Ugh. There's more of that aggressive rot. On the commonplace of evil. There lies virtue. And also, uh, damn. Uh, Aaron Hines, thank you for the ten gifted memberships, dude. Indifference. I think you guys might have unlocked Could another emote slot at this rate. Were, uh, but big thanks. So often you guys got yourself a membership from Aaron? Send him Not some thanks. The wicked sure he'll appreciate sin. the love. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside. Just about everyone well, who's now I chatting in the know. YouTube chat on regular is now probably like a sub from all the gifts. Sunless solitude. Follow not this corrupting light. I'm glad I made the YouTube Profits membership pretty cheap too. Always crashes out of sight. Hear me. For we all I wish I could do that on smart. Twitch, but Twitch is like demands five dollar minimum. Kind of shitty. Alone in the dark. Hmm.
That is shitty. Like, yeah, I feel, yeah. That, like I said, you can only, like, charge more. They give you, like, tiers on Twitch. On YouTube, I do like that you can set the price of your membership. She said the thing. You said the thing alone in the dark. Alright, that unlocks another door. Back out there, but I don't really need to go that way. We need to get back up to the, you know, the second floor. Glad you didn't inflate the membership. Yeah, like, I feel two to three bucks, I feel, is like more than enough for any of this YouTube stuff. Both Patreon memberships and all that. So, I'm fine with the way it is. More people can, like, have fun that way. Have you considered streaming on Kick? Isn't that like the gambling streaming site? It's kind of like, I don't know, it feels weird. And uh, I mean, I could, there's nothing stopping me from it. Uh, but I don't know, if, if it like, I don't, don't want to like send people there if it's potentially like promoting like gambling. <laughs> I'd have to look into it more, to be honest with you though. But uh, Trying to read three stream chats in a row, that might be a bit much. Two is about as much as I can probably handle. So if I wanted to stream on Kick at the same time, I'd probably have to like ignore at least one of the chats. Like streaming to YouTube and Twitch is already plenty enough for me. What's Kick, Kick even like? I don't know. I've never actually visited it before. It's pretty much like a clone of Twitch, if we're being honest, from what little I do know of it. It tries to like look like Twitch in like in a lot of different ways. The sub revenue split is pretty good. It's no better than YouTube's. YouTube's uh, sub revenue split, I think, is the same thing. But you also have to convince people to go over to Kick, and I don't know if I mean, I don't really want to con convince people to, like go over to Kick just to like subscribe to me there. Just subscribe to me on Twitch or YouTube. That's more than enough. I don't need to add, like, a third website into it. I'm, I've got a Patreon I'm launching, because I'm going to try to get people to go over to that. I, I don't re I really don't want to go adding too much onto it. you got to at least, at some point, know your limits. All right, so... Yeah, we go down this hallway, and then we can get to the sitting room. Kick is for gambling addicts and gooners. Yeah, that is what little I know about it as well. But Twitch has a lot of gooners on it too. Let's be honest here. There's like famous Twitch metas now where like people were like putting on green underwear so they could like green screen their underwear and show gameplay footage on it. Alright, and now we just go over here into the sitting room. There's something missing. Yeah, it's France. They got rid of France. Someone is a little bit racist. Wipe them off the map. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Do we even need friends? I don't know, it is where Ubisoft is known. But there's also like a long time viewer here from who's like always making jokes about croissants and you know I don't want to lose him. You're passing out. We're almost done for the night actually so hang on like another five minutes. Now that is the most terrifying thing in the game.
Mm, so what, what have we got left? We have water closet in Cassandra's room. So let's check the water closet first. I think this counts as a little bit more than a water closet, by the way. This is like a small bath. Well, it would have been. smoke in the same room with a kid. What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. <laughs> For she. That's you as a kid practicing Shakespeare. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. It's another one of those strange padlocks. A grave liniment. One of several medications described to be author Cassandra Burgard, the particular bottle contains the ointment for pain relief, sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. Is this like that cocaine medicine I've always heard about? Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. I'm the key to the medicine. Hmm. Which is where? We actually don't know. Wait, there's a puzzle in the boiler room I didn't solve? I thought I did all that. Hmm. No clues, chat. No clues. However, it is getting a little late, and that feels like a pretty good stopping point. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think we'll call it there tomorrow, chat. I will probably be playing the Stellar Blade demo. I believe that comes out tomorrow. Uh, so I'm not sure how long that demo would take to get through, but I will be checking that out. So, you know, show up, you know, if you want to see me play hot Korean, hot Korean devil may cry, basically, or whatever it ends up being. But you've all been wonderful tonight. I think you were joining me, by the way. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Uh, sorry my voice is getting a little hoarse. I guess I just talk too much. You know, that happens when you're a streamer. But thank you for any subs, gift subs, memberships, gift memberships, bits, any of that stuff. Thank you very much. I much appreciate it. I will use it for like buying a new video game. Just going to be edging. Well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank you for sharing that information. Uh, also, thank you for sharing your time with me tonight, all of you. Thank you to the mod team. 
Uh, if you're new, if you're on YouTube, hit the like button, or you can also subscribe if you like my stream. Also, thank you for five more gifted uh, memberships, Super Tramp. Thank you very much. Uh, one last sub bomb or membership bomb on me before I go away for the night. Uh, but yeah, Chan, I will see you all tomorrow with much love. I bid you adieu. Uh, stay healthy and you know safe until then. And I'll take care of you for another four hours, all right? <clears throat> all right, Chan, peace out.